Okay, and here we are, everybody. So, welcome. It's been a while since we've done some Rune Factory, hasn't it? So, for those of you that are new to the channel, I played the first two games uh, a couple years ago. Now, I'm, I've been told that 3 is where the series really starts to get good. And this is the one that just so happened to get, like, a new remaster called Rune Factory 3 Special. I'm not quite sure what Newlywed Mode is. I think it just starts a new game with you already married to a certain character. Feel free to let me know. But anyways, let's do it. New game. I'm excited to finally try this one out. This is originally a DS game, by the way, but it's been remastered for Switch. Look at that. <laughs> I can definitely tell. Definitely tell it used to be DS. A monster? What are you doing here? And you're terribly hurt, poor thing. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Thank you, girl. Oh, look at the, look at that animation like that. What's all the ruckus, dear? I could have sworn I heard. Wait, that's a monster. Well, yes, I would think that's obvious. How could you let it in the house? Because it's injured? I can't very well turn a blind eye to a suffering creature. That's still no excuse for allowing a monster to violate the sanctity of my home. I bonked my table. Then I should have left it to die. Is that it? I've decided to take care of it, and that's final. Now leave me be, Grandpa. Oh boy. Great start. I believe my character is the sheep thing. What are they called again? Wooly? There, that should do it. She kind of has like a sinister looking smile there. Look at her. Okay. Yeah, one is pretty good, but it kind of like is still figuring out the formula. Two is unfortunately very crusty, I feel. Yep, there's me. Hmm. What? So what is this guy's name? I think I'm gonna go with the canon name again, like I did for the other ones. Where am I? Look at that run. No. Mika is, is his name? Okay. I cut and run without thinking. Real smooth. Hmm? Who's that? Sassy red-haired girl. Excuse me. Hang on, I can maybe turn it up a little bit. Let's do this. She don't care. Uh, hey. Good morning. Good morning, Raven. Morning. Not often I see you in this neck of the woods. Oh dear. And you have company. I don't think we've had the pleasure. Huh? Oh, I'm, uh... Something wrong? I can't remember. Sorry? I don't know why, but I can't remember anything about myself. Okay, so that's three games in a row. We have an amnesiac protagonist. Huh? Goodness, don't tell me you have amnesia. <laughs> I guess so. This is serious. What do we do? Aha, I know. Raven, can I ask you a favor? You can ask, sure. Did you take... Hmm, what should I call you? Good question. How about... Enter a name... Uh... Okay, it's just default there. We'll go with that. Please enter your birthday. Okay. I just put spring three. Is it how, like, these games divide up seasons? Mika. <laughs> What a name! You almost sound good enough to eat! Okay! Okay, girl. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say to someone you just met, who also has amnesia. <laughs> That's a slightly worrisome response, but okay. Es especially since I can turn into an animal. I hope lamb chops aren't on the menu for her. Anyway, Raven, could you take Mika to the... the Charance tree? You want me to. Yes, you, please. Okay. He <laughs> thanks, Raven. While you're doing that, I'll drop in on Grandpa. I'll come see you again later, okay, Mika? Uh, sure. 
I get the feeling Raven doesn't like me. I admit, I'm a little lost as to what's happening this way. So I believe this game has the most marriageable characters in the series, right? There's 11 girls you can you can marry? Right, guess I better follow her for now. The Sharon's tree. Well, it's right there. Did she really need to take me to it? Welcome, everybody. Yeah, I'm excited to do some farming games again soon, uh, too. Blah. That's the biggest tree I've ever seen. This one is also apparently shorter than 1 and 2, right? Oh, look at that. Move a little weird, but we can get used to this. Um, okay, it looks cropped just fine. Look at that run animation. To be fair, knowing how the animations look on DS, this is pretty much, like, accurate with a new model. It's, like, the same, like... Probably looks better than Raguna and Kyle. Excellent. Well, Rune Factory 4 has 12, but 6 uh, for a guy, 6 for a girl. Okay. Yeah, 4 was the first one that added a playable girl protagonist. Whoa, who'd have thought? Big fancy tree in here. There's a calendar, and it's pretty empty. This must be my place for the game. It's actually surprisingly normal inside. Huh? You're leaving? I did as I was asked, so... Can you at least tell me why you brought me here? I don't know. She asked me to do it, so I did. I can see you and I are gonna get along great. Huff, huff. So I'm guessing that girl here must be this game's uh, mist in mana. Sorry. I'm sorry I took so long. No worries. Feel free to catch your breath. So, oh, what do you think of the place? It has a strange vibe, to be honest, but not in a bad way. The idea of a house inside of a tree is definitely unique. I approve. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. You're going to be living here from now on, so I hoped you would. Well, that escalated quite quickly there. Yeah, since I'm going to live here, I... Huh? Wait, what? Back up. I clearly missed something crucial here. Oh, dear. Hmm, didn't I tell you? As of today, Mika, this is your house. Uh, this is news to me. I don't recall asking to be put up, either. But you don't remember anything about yourself, right? And you don't have anywhere else to go. Fair point, still. Mika, even without your memories, you found your way here. There has to be a reason for it. You think? <laughs> I do, of course. It could be something as mundane as you following the aroma of nice flowers here. I know I would. And you're sure it's okay that I stay? Yes, we'd love to have you. I already got permission from Grandpa and everything. He has that kind of authority? My grandfather's the mayor of this town. He gave the okay, so go ahead and settle in like you own the place. Dude doesn't even want to met me. Or hasn't even met me, and he's just like, yeah, he can have, like, the cool tree house. Anyone can have that. Okay, then. Thanks a million. Oh, I'm Shara, by the way. And this is Raven. Welcome to Sharance. We're happy to have you. Okay. You're named after the town? What she said. She just, like, doesn't like me. She does not want to be here. Which means I'm going to get to know her and she's going to have, like, these scenes that show her, show how gentle she really is on the inside. Thank you for letting me stay. Okay. Pretty Spartan at the moment, but let me give you a quick rundown on how this house's features work. Follow me, please. Oh no, she's gonna teach me how to open the fridge. This is your storage box. You can store all sorts of items inside. Weapons, armor, collectibles, farm tools, healing bottles, brushes, shears, and magnifying glasses. When the arrow above the storage box turns red, press A to open its associated menu. <laughs> Keep your heart light and your bag lighter, I always say. Nothing worse than finding something nice and not having room in your bag to take it home. So for the sorts of items you don't need on hand at all times, I recommend you keep those in your box instead. Did you get all that? Yep. <laughs> Great, let's move on then. Next is your fridge. Your fridge is the place for all things edible and medicinal. Veggies, fruit, fish, flowers, seeds, medicine, and cooked dishes. 
Just like before, when the arrow above the fridge turns red, press the button. See a red arrow? Press the button. Now, are you interested in cooking? Absolutely. Where's my spatula? Wonderful. Somebody's raring the go. If you ever need a taste tester, you just let me know. She was the one that wanted to taste test me a little while ago. Anyway, I asked because if you'd like, you can add a kitchen to the house someday. Having one gives you a way to prepare cooked dishes. That sounds up your alley. You can talk to the town chef about acquiring a kitchen, as well as whatever kitchen utensils you might need. Feel free to ask whenever you have the time. Now, on to the next. Who keeps seeds in the fridge? Good question. I don't think that's where they go. That's what chefs do, right? They add a kitchen to your house? This is your calendar. It lists all the town festivals we hold around here. Check it regularly and be sure to save those dates. Oh, and you can also put your friends' birthdays here, too. You won't know what those days are until you, well, one, have friends, and two, ask them. Makes sense, right? My birthday is Spring 11, by the way. Hint, hint, we're friends. And Raven's is Spring 29. <laughs> There, now you have at least two. Looking forward to my present. Every time this girl talks, she's got an ulterior motive. I get the feeling that the topic of rent for the tree is about to come up. Ahahaha. <laughs> ah, Moving along, this one's really important. Listen carefully, okay? I'll make sure to ask you guys what the uh, preferred uh, gifts are. It saves me the time of Googling the wiki every five minutes. This is your journal. You can record your daily events in here. Each minute of every day is precious, you know. If you don't write all your exploits down, you could wind up an amnesiac all over again. I'll stay on top of it, I promise. This is, as you can tell, your bed. After a good night's sleep snuggled under these covers, you'll wake up completely refreshed. Oh, I know. To make sure you don't forget how you met us, how about you go and write today's events in your journal right now? She's got, like, a look on her face that says, yeah, you better write it down. Save? Yes. So I didn't get the option on New Game, but I remember something in the game's description says that Special adds, like, a, a hard mode difficulty that's meant for people who are already really familiar with the original. Do you have to, like, beat the game once to unlock that, maybe? Did you get everything? Cross your T's, dot your I's? Do! I was just playing Resident Evil 4 Remake, and that's what the merchant says when you, like, repair stuff. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's, that's the way to be. You think she's weird? Wait to wait for the other girls. Oh, I'm sure. Well, that concludes my explanation of this house's features. Now let's head downstairs. It's down there. <laughs> Telling you now would spoil the surprise. It's your bill, silly. You can use this ladder to go downstairs. Go ahead, I'll meet you down. Whoa, get a load of these fields. They're huge. Oh, the fields are inside the tree. Look at that crusty gra like grass sprites. Or, they're not really sprites anymore, are they? They're more just like, they're more so like JPEGs or PNGs. <laughs> yep, they're the only fields in the whole town. See, crops will only grow here, underneath the branches of the Sharon's tree. Oh, we're at the base of the tree. Okay, I understand. I see the roots now. Huh, interesting. They're, um, a little unkempt. You'll have to clear them before you can use them. Consider that your move-in fee. <laughs> That's, uh, a lot of land. Easier said than done. Yeah, I told you. I told you she was going to charge me something. It's like, okay, time for you to work the field, silly. Yep, but it's your job now, Mika. After all, you signed the contract when you opened the diary. Here, take these. We'll call it a housewarming gift. <laughs> you got a cheap tool and a cheap water pot. Thank you. No jokes to be made about that. I, I can't think of anything. I appreciate it. Wonderful. There. Now you're all set. Since we're done here, do you want to try tilling the fields? Maybe a little. Maybe start at nine. Maybe finish at five. But it, it makes you could also work some overtime too. Remember, we're all family here. I guess I could. Whoa, it's a monster! Ah. Listen to this battle music. 
Yeah, it's got that classic, like, Super Nintendo drum style. Both of you, get back. I'll get him with my cheap tool. It's clearly hostile. There's no avoiding a tussle, I'm afraid. Do either of you have a weapon I can use? You already have one. Use your tool as a weapon. Press B to swing it. With that, you can send Mr. Orc back to the Forest of Beginnings. Ah, I, I forgot. We have that silly little rule for when monsters are dead. All right. Okay. It pushes me forward when I use it. Come on, get him. Got him. You okay? You aren't hurt at all, are you? Yeah. Now I'm fine. I know the monster swung first, but I still feel bad for what we did to the poor thing. Yeah, we had to defend ourselves, but it didn't feel good. Don't worry, though. Mika, we're gonna be farming lots of those guys for drops. By the way, what's the Forest of Beginnings place you mentioned? I've only read about it in books, so I'm not exactly an expert on the subject. But it's supposedly a different world where only monsters live. And defeating monsters sends them back there. You know, it sounds like a thing that just sounds like copium right there. You didn't kill the monster, you sent it to the Shadow Realm. Yeah. The farm tools and weapons we have have a spell called Tamitaya cast on them. The spell makes sure they don't actually harm the target and instead just sends it back to the forest of beginnings. Oh, okay, I get ya. Oh. Time to send some more friends back to the forest. What, more monsters? Two of them this time. Shara, get back. Got it. Oh, who's this guy? Here, take one of these! Oh. Uh, I'm assuming Longsword is a two-handed Claymore. Dual Blades. Hmm, usually the spears are garbage in, like, the... in two, so I don't know if I want to go with that. I think I'll just take the sword, because usually it's OP as hell. Maybe I'll take the short sword. Looks simple enough to use. Yeah, I'll go with this one. I can always make something else later. Yeah! Press B repeatedly to wail on your opponents. Gotcha. Okay, it definitely feels like combat has been drastically improved here. Remember in, like, the first two games, what happens is, um... What happens when you swing the sword is, like, you just do a three-hit combo while standing in place. This one, you actually rush forward, so... Okay, right off the bat, I can see that combat is gonna be a lot more fun, so maybe I I will mess around with the other weapon types if they're not all garbage now. Ew, that fight really took it out of me. Combat's massively better in this one. What's your name? I'm Mika. Thank you. Thanks for the weapon. Who are you? Uh, Gaius. I think that's how I'll say it. You got good form. Thanks. Ha! Thank Raven, not me. She was the one who told me monsters showed up. Thanks. Really? Thanks, Raven. She's not even gonna call me a Baka. She's just gonna walk away. Uh, did I offend her somehow? Nah, she's just like that. Don't bo let it bother you. Anyway, I better get back to work. I run a weapon shop just down the way from here. Drop by and see me sometime. And with that, I'm off. Later. Thank you. So this guy's the blacksmith? The blacksmiths in the previous games have just been like an old man with a giant beard. Oh wait, no, that's not true. Um, that was the first game. The second game was, um, the MILF lady. I totally forgot about her. Thank you again for your help. Are you okay? No problem. Yeah, I'm fine. Glad to hear it. Still, for so many monsters to show up here, let alone start attacking people. Is it unusual? Very. The monsters around here are generally passive and gentle. I've heard rumors of violent monsters running rampant recently. Maybe these monsters were affected somehow. By the way, you're pretty good at fighting, Mika. You think so? I do. You surprised me. Probably those monsters, too. They looked formidable. Oh. 
They were pretty tough. They weren't all that, really. Let's be humble. Dear. Wow, Mika, you must be on another level then. Amazing. Thanks. Well, now we know... Uh, now you know how to use a weapon, but what about farm tools? Shall I bestow upon you some of my extensive farming know-how? Um... I'm assuming she she's telling me how to, like, plant and, and grow crops and stuff. I don't think that's necessary. I know how to do that stuff. And I feel like this game is going to overcomplicate the explanation anyway and, dra and drag it out. You don't want to hear all I know about farming? Really? No, not really, sorry. That's what she does do? Okay. So yeah, we can skip this. I know how to plant stuff. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess it just wasn't in the cards then. Oh, she sounds so disappointed. Now I feel bad. Here, Mika. This is a small allowance of money and seeds to get you started. You got toy herb seeds. Thank you. Thanks. If you want to see what kinds of seeds there are, or check details on anything else, you can do so looking at the camp menu. You open your camp menu, press plus. Okay, if I want to open my camp menu, press plus. Got it, I'll give it a try. Oh, speaking of, I almost forgot something myself. Huh? Uh -huh, such as teaching you about RP, of course. Oh, she's gonna teach me how to role play. Oh, we're going right there. Let's go for it. What is RP? Only one of the most important resources for any aspiring farmer. See in the upper left corner of your screen, you'll find two bars: your HP and your RP. We know you won't marry her anyway. Hey, I haven't even seen the other girls yet or gotten to know any of them. I'll... We'll talk to them all, and we'll decide which one's best for me. They're right around here. Uh... There's nothing here, though. Well, yeah, you can't see them right now. They'll be visible again once I'm done talking. Just be patient. Uh-huh. When you use tools like your tool or water pot, they'll first deplete your RP. That stands for rune points. It's the energy of the Earth that resides in your body. If you run out of RP and still trying to use your tools, it'll start depleting your HP. Your HP, or hit points, shows how much health you have. If your HP ever goes down to zero, you'll pass out. <laughs> you can guess my favorite, really. Am I that much of an open book? Well, let's find out if you're right. Working hard is all well and good, but taking breaks is important, too. You only got one body, so take care of it. Hey, don't tell me to take a break after I've been sick the past week. Hmm. I will, thanks. Now for the moment of truth. It's time for you to give this field a name. Huh? You sure I should be the one to do it? <laughs> of course, as of today. This is your home turf, after all. Get it? Right. Then how about... Gerance? I'm not gonna name it after this place. I hit B too many times. It's my farm. Actually, you know what I could call it? Just because... I have the power. No! There's not enough room. Moomin it is. Is Moomin okay? Yes. Moomin farm, hmm? Interesting. You know, I thought this when you told me your name, too, but you have an exceptionally wonky naming sense. I'm gonna choose to take that as a compliment. Okay. Anyways, now that that's settled, Mika, could you stop by my house later on? There are other things I need to teach you, but I have to get ready for my shift at the shop. Okay, I'll drop by later. Uh, where's your house again? If you go down from here, you'll find a street with three shops on it. The middle one's the florist, that's where I live. There are flowers decorating the door, so it should be pretty obvious. Gotcha. Hey, uh, I'm not being too nosy, am I? No, of course not. <laughs> Good. I better be going then. Thank you. Okay, thanks for all your help. See you later. Well then. That was a long tutorial. How long was I doing that? Jeez. 20 minutes. I don't know if I should be picking stuff up yet. I noticed my character has like a little bit, almost like a little bit of an ice physics to them. Like when I stop, they still slide forward a tiny bit. 
Just look at that, clear water. I know that, like, Rune Factory 3 was also, um... Huh? My skill went up. Uh... Oh! I leveled up walking! Okay. The more you walk, you can increase your max vitality and HPRB. I, I guess that makes sense. Okay. What should I look up? No. Current number stock, zero. Excellent. Yeah, I remember that Rune Factory 3 is apparently the, um... That's a shipping bin. The first one that Marvelous got to localize, right? It was still Natsume who did, like, um... The first two? I think so, anyway. I can fill my water pot here. How do I... Use my different tools here. Okay, R2 brings that up. How do I close it? What's that? How'd I do that? How do I close this? Okay, R buttons walk. L is that. That's for that. Okay. I got these. I'm trying to figure out what's the what's the shortcut for uh, equipping something in the bottom right. I'm trying those buttons there, but I'm not getting anything. Y and X don't do anything. I leveled up again. Vale River, Soul Toronto Desert. Moomin Farm, Miyako Inn, Blaze's Diner. Diamond General Store, Fantastic Flowers, Blacksmith. You gotta use R2 and navigate the menu from there. R2 doesn't do anything on its own, though. I can see everyone on the map moving around. Am I supposed to use R2 with something else? Because none of those buttons do anything. Minus does nothing. Plus just opens this menu. Rune abilities. Oh, those are X and Y. Wrong button. Oh, hello. Who are you? It's nice to meet you. Yes, it's been far too long. Wait, what? What is your name? Oh, I'm Mika. I'll be living in the Sharon's tree from now on, so I'd love for us to get to know each other. No. That sounds awful. Well, okay then. I don't like you. Okay. Huh? Huh? I'm Sophia. It's a pleasure. Um, the pleasure's all mine? It's so very busy. You wouldn't think it, but I'm actually very busy. Feel free to come by for a visit and chat anytime. Wait, but you said you're... <laughs> I won't be waiting to see you. Do stay far away. I think maybe she had... There's a language issue between us. I've never been more confused in my life, and I have amnesia right now. Good evening. What horrendous weather we're having today. Morning. Morning. I'm fine. Ah, oh, I'm busy. Huh? Huh? Everything's fine. So busy, it's driving me mad. Sorry. Oh, sorry to hear that. I'm so happy. Can't anyone see how busy I am? Why doesn't anyone can't come hang out with me? Huh? Huh? I'm fine. Oh, huh? I'm busy. Huh? Okay, I can skip that fast anyway. Oh, you must be the whippersnapper that Shara took in. Yes, sir. My name is Mika. Hmm. I'm Wells. I'm the mayor of this town. If you need anything, come ask Thank me. You. Thank you, I will. Hmm. Look at that. Diamond General Store. Open 9am. We can meet the people. Oh, cutscene. Another girl? I'm assuming I can just marry every girl I come across, because there's 11 of them I can, I can in this game. We're closed. Hello, ma'am. You are? Karina! Well, probably not you. You're probably your mother. 
Slacking off again, I see. Honestly. Was it too much to ask you keep an eye on the shop while I was out? I was keeping an eye on it. Don't worry. I was keeping an eye on it. She never said that eye would be open. What? That aren't doesn't mean you can blow off potential customers. Honestly. Some would say my frankness is my best feature. I'm pretty sure... Did they reuse the English uh, lines from the original release? Because the English lines are always, like, a little hilariously crusty in the DS games. Sorry about her. That's just the way she is. Ah, ha ha ha. By the way, you just moved into the big tree, didn't you? These are new voice lines, are they? They're mixed pretty low. Sure did. You saved me a trip then. I was planning on heading over to explain how shipping works. Why don't you stand there? Come on in. You're up, Karina. Give him the rundown. Me. Okay, I guess. Ugh. But, uh, I don't know if I can explain it well enough. Wouldn't it be better if you did it, Mom? Ha! Trying to foist your work onto me so you can goop off some more? I'm just looking out for our customer's best interest. Yeah, that's it. Is that so? Well, if you're that concerned, you can be his account manager. Make sure he gets whatever he needs whenever he needs it with a smile, okay? Seriously? Don't think for an instant you can pull a fast one on me. Don't think for an instant you can pull a fast one on me. Got sassed. Got some urgent business to take care of, so ask my daughter here for details. Sure thing. Karina? And Karina, wipe that annoyed look off your face and make sure you explain things to him. Got that? Yeah. Fine. All right, I'm off. So you're a slacker. That's what you do. Well, I can't just ditch work and leave the store empty, so I guess I better start explaining. What did I do to deserve this? That'd be great, thank you. Uh, let's see. Just toss any items you harvest into the shipping bin and I'll come pick them up. The fewer the better, since that makes my job easier. Most of the time, I'll usually come by to collect at like 5 p.m. or whenever I feel like it. Keep it up and you should be rolling in gold in no time. In theory, anyway. I'll come by to pick up whatever's in the box every day. Every day? Man. Ah, uh, I think I think that covers it. Wow, I'm exhausted. So there you go. Make sense? <laughs> yeah, I think I got it. Good. And starting today? Scratch that. I've still got work here today, so my first pickup will be tomorrow. I already did way more than planned today, so I deserve a break. Great. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay, then. Can't believe I got roped into wor more work. You're lazy, you lazy goofball. Um, excuse me. It's R button to open the, the pocket. It doesn't seem like, seem like R button did anything either. It just let me go into walk mode. Um, excuse me. Hmm, so sleepy. So can I help you with something? Oh, uh, my name's Mika. Cool, I'm Karina. My mom runs the general store. You won't hurt my feelings if you don't come over too often, though. Uh, general store is kind of important. I don't think it's a place I can avoid. Well, I won't stop you if you really need, uh, think you need to buy something. I'm just saying, consider your options before stepping through the door. The less work I have to do, the better. Huh. Felt like I heard something extra there. You can tell she's probably popular. She's sleepy, lazy. She's got the midriff and fingerless gloves going on. Nice weather today. Perfect for a nap. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hmm. Hello there. So very tired. I'm here to chat. Hey, Mika. Is it supposed to be pronounced Micah? Cause I've seen people with this name before, and I, I think you it's supposed to be said as Mika. But can it be both ways? I don't know. Actually, never mind. Talking expends more energy than I currently have. Seriously. Okay, lazy girl. Wonder what this is used for. Okay. There's so much here. It's fun to just look. If video games were in this universe, do you think she'd just be a gamer all day? 
being sleepy in a room playing video games. Are these for sale too? There's too many things. How can anyone decide? Uh, let me see what's for sale. Which of these do you want? Uh, spring selection. Pink turnip seeds. Three days. Hmm. Formula A. I never use this stuff. It never feels worth it. I'm level two. I leveled up by walking, funnily enough. How much money do I have? 500. Um. Stop yawning. Hmm. Um. Seriously? You're buying that? Seriously? Stop judging me. I'll buy four. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Time for a break. Which of these do you want? Still want to buy some? Think. Come on. Bye. Thanks. Spare me the suffering. God, she does not want to talk to me at all. She wants to talk to me less than Raven does. Can I go upstairs? Check other people's bed. This is Karina's bed. <laughs> what? Um, well, first of all, why can't I sleep in her bed? I'm pretty sure if I if I used her bed and she found me up here when she needed to sleep, she'd literally kill me. Can I just sleep in anyone's bed? Huh? This picture looks handmade. Read. Her picture book. My mom's a really hard worker. Writing is hard. The end. <laughs> okay. Heartwarming present to, uh, her mom there. Did I level up my snooping skills? No, I, I keep leveling up walking. Well... Let's keep looking to meet new people. Maybe I should visit the flower shop already. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, there you are, Mika. I've been looking for you. You live here in the flower shop, right? Sure do. We sell flower seeds, of course, but we also stock some unusual seeds. Unusual. Yeah. That's right, to be more specific. Are you? Rar! Huh? Ah. Probably your little sister. Monica, how many times have I told you no horsing around in the shop? Shara, do something. <laughs> the voice lines are very low. You can barely hear them. How many times I told you not horsing around in the shop? Shara, do something. Monica. She went to roar at me like a teddy. Monica. Stop that, please. Stop that, please. Whoa! You wanna throw you wanna throw hands, little girl? Go on, I'll crack your head open. Let me go. <laughs> throw her upstairs. Sorry. Sorry about that. My little sister doesn't really do well with strangers. <laughs> she doesn't do well with strangers indeed. Uh, you're supposed to say it as Sha'arents? I don't know. Let me get a drink, you're right. <laughs> she seems like a handful. Keep your distance from talking to her. Unless you want to get chopped. <laughs> Wait, she's trying to bite me? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought she was gonna, like, punch me. Keep your distance when talking to her unless you want to get chomped indeed. Chomped? Yeah, where were we? All oh, right. This is one of the unusual seeds I was talking about. That girl has entered barrel mode. She's gonna bite me. They're formerly known as magic seeds. Just place one on the ground and it'll grow in an instant. A fully grown magic seed will follow you around while you're out adventuring. Different ones have different effects. As you develop your farming skills, your faithful magic seed companions will become more powerful. So it's like a pet plant? 
kind of cute. You think so? Then why don't you have this? Consider it a gift. You got a sword magic seed. Are, are you sure? Of course. There are lots of different kinds of magic seeds out there, but half the fun is discovering them for yourself. Ship lots of crops, save up your gold, then come buy some more. I will. Oh, that reminds me. Did I tell you how the message board works? The message board? You didn't. Right, of course I didn't. There's a reason I called you here, after all. So, where is this message board, anyway? Just outside, actually. Here, I'll show you. This is the town message board. What's written on it? The townspeople will post requests here when they need help with something. All you have to do is choose a request and go speak to the person who posted it. Also, keep in mind you can only take one request per day. You don't want to overexert yourself by taking on more than you can handle. As you grow friendlier with everyone in town, they'll post more requests for you. Besides regular requests, there are also two other types called simple and dis disciplinary requests. As the name suggests, simple requests are easy jobs. Disciplinary requests require a defeating group of monsters. Make sure you're prepared or you accept them. I thought I was going to have to, like, throw hands with Monica <laughs> and discipline her a little bit. Simple requests and disciplinary requests will change each day, so check back often to see what's available. And that should be everything you need to know about the message board. You ever need a refresher? A uh, summary of what I just told you is posted right next to it. Just don't forget it's there. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you so much. <laughs> to get you started right off or off on the right foot, I posted a request of my own for you. Just make sure you accept it later, okay? Hello. Okay, look at her run. She's like she's afraid of something. By the way, my request is sitting there still waiting. Hint, hint. I could really use some help on it. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> she actually has wink wink nudge nudge there. I didn't even need to make the joke. I hope you'll take it on soon. How's your farm doing? Growing any flowers? Uh, I'm in my veggie era now. Can't have a farm without them. Oh, wonderful. Flowers, like all plants, are living things too. Be sure to shower them with plenty of love. Who are you? Oh, are you the newcomer I've been hearing about? Are those ears? Or horns and ears? You got a vibe going on with that hairstyle. Yeah, that's me. I'm... I'm Pia, the head honcho of the Paradise Bathhouse. Oh, you're the bathhouse girl of this game. It's weird, though. I'm not a mob boss or anything, so why is that my title? I, I don't think that's what that means. But whatever, words are silly. It's time for you to hop in the bath. Huh? No thanks, I'm good for now. Huh? How can you say that? Baths feel so amazing. You'll feel all refreshed in junk. <laughs> Seriously, I'm good. You sure? You really, really, really sure? I am. Okay, that just means you're planning on hopping in later. Got it. Huh? Uh... I look forward to seeing you around then, um... What was your name again? Uh, never quite got there. I'm Mika. Gotcha! Into the noggin it goes. Looking forward to getting to know you, Mika. Same here. Will he... Who is this? If you ever get poisoned, see if you can find an antidote grass. Munch on one of those and you'll be right as rain. Pull that off and you'll feel like a true survivalist. You've got no... You're, you're running holding something, and I can't see your... I can't see your portrait. Who are you? Yes, you there! I think think you have what it takes to challenge me. Me, uh... Is that a lollipop on your belt? Uh, challenge you in what exactly? An eating contest, of course. Huh? An eating contest. Oh, I can read you like an open book. I know you think I'm too puny for something like that. Yeah? Well, try living in a body that refuses to grow no matter how much I eat. Um, sorry? <laughs> Eesh, did your mother ever teach to respect your elders? I'm the older one here, just so you know. Just FYI. Huh? Wait, you're older than me? 
judging a book by its cover again, are we? If you ask me, I think it's pretty obvious that you're the younger of the two of us. In what world is that obvious? Come to think of it, I haven't seen you around here before. You a traveler? Oh, no. I actually just moved into the... the... the Sharan's tree. My name is Mika. Ah, gotcha. Well, I'm Colette. You can usually find me working the restaurant here, so drop by if you ever need a bite to eat. It'd be my honor, madame. Oh, just because I'm the older one doesn't mean you have to act all polite and formal. Just give me a holler if you need anything. All right, then. I'll do just that. I can't believe she's older than me, though. Like, how old is she, then? They're not saying anything. Gorgeous weather today. Hello. Oh, my tummy's got the grumblies. What, did you skip a meal? No, I didn't. Just a bit ago, I had three bowls of rice, followed by some curry rice with a few onigiri on the side, and then... Huh? All of that already? Yep, just some light snacking. There's nothing light or snacking about any of that. La-dee-dee-da. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I love, love, love fishies. Okay, she likes fish. Mental note made. They are... Oh. I feel like I should choose my words carefully. They're cute. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Fellas, we're in. Wait, no, that sounded weird. <laughs> are these just generic NPCs? Excuse me. Ah, yes, I've already heard. You're the lad who moved into the Sharon's tree, right? That would be me. I'm, uh, Marjorie. Many, many years ago, I made a name for myself as a witch, but these days, I'm a little more than an, a little more than an old crone. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mika. Oh, oh, no need for formalities, dearie. I really am just a simple old lady now. Force of habit, I guess. I suppose I do still dabble in medicine... Though, I leave most of the clinic duties to my granddaughter these days. Granddaughter witch? Surely you've rather... You'd rather be seen by a pretty young lass rather than some wrinkled old woman, hmm? <laughs> I mean... That said, what when the pretty young thing is her? Huh? Alright, what's wrong with her? Well, whatever the case, it's a pleasure to have you here, dearie. Do take care. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Who are you? Hey. hey, do you like fishing? What is that hat? Huh? Fishing? What? I didn't say I was going to marry the, the pink-haired girl. I'm just saying, like, we know that she likes fish now. And apparently so does she. Yep, fishing. Hmm, if I had to say, I guess I like it well enough. Really? Then you've got taste, mister. There's... Just nothing else like it, is there? The dance of the bobber on the waves, the arc of the pole, as you and the fish do battle. Then, the sparkle of the water splash as the fish breaches the surface. Ahem, sorry. I can get kind of carried away about fishing. I take it you're a fan, huh? <laughs> oh, you could say that. Boy, is my face red. Anyway, I'm Carmen. You? Mika. Mika, huh? Pleased to meet you. I live at the fishing resort by the lake. If you're ever looking for a fishing partner, let me know. Offering a monster a homemade dish is a great way to show how much you care about them. Okay, so some of these people are just generic NPCs with no art. Okay, let's keep looking around. What's this? Oh, right, the blacksmith. Take a look. Hey, Raven, what's up? I bet she's glad to see me. Wow, that's a lot of weapons. Welcome. Uh, were all these made here? Mostly. Amazing. Did you make them too? Uh. You are here to buy something, right? You are here to buy something, right? Huh? That's not what I expected her to sound like. Huh? This is a weapon shop. Not a place for idle chit-chat. There's a weapon shop, not a place for idle chit-chat. not here to buy, then leave. No, oh, no! He's Sorry. rude to me. Sorry. Right, finally finished. Okay, your voice does not fit him at all. 
All right, finally finished. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Oh, hey, I remember you. You here to buy something? Um, hey, don't sweat it if you aren't. As long as I've got some iron to hammer at, I don't have a care in the world. <laughs> as long as I got some iron to hammer at, don't got a care in the world. I should see if I can turn up the voice volume and options. Stay a while and take a load off if you like. Don't mind a little idle chit chat. Huh? But what? What? <laughs> Go on, say something. Go on, tell him. <laughs> the voices are super compressed. Yeah, they might be taken directly from like the DS game. Uh, no, never mind. Hang on. Can I do options here? Switch L and R, BGM. Yeah, there's no mixing option here. That's your sound option. Turn off and on the background music. Um, I still can't figure out how to quickly open up my tools, but... Is there, like, something to check that somewhere? The settings in this game are really bad, yeah. Hang on. Okay. I think I figured it out. Why does up and down switch it like that? Okay, can't use the control stick for that. No, I don't want to hold it. I want to use it. <laughs> That's random. Okay. I guess I can run around with this on me. Uh, keep is a weird way to phrase that. Whoa, look at me go. Well, I can run around with the sword. This is how you hold the sword. It's really... The, the buttons are really weird. It's hard to describe. Hi! Oh, you're the guy who moved into the Sharon's tree not too long ago. You know, uh, what's his name? It's Mika. All right, I'm Gaius. I know I mentioned this before, but while I may not look it, I'm the weaponsmith around here. I just make whatever weapons I want, though. My helper's the one who does all the selling and shop running and stuff. <laughs> right. Anyway, you ever got a weapon on the brain and you want it made up? Come hit me up. Thank you. I will, thanks. I'll still make whatever I feel like at the time, though. It may or may not be what you ask for. Uh, then why offer? Excuse me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're, uh, Miss Raven, was it? Raven is fine. Huh? Oh, uh, gotcha. I'm Mika. I just moved into town. Pleased to meet you. We've already met. <laughs> oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> she really wants me to leave. Like, she wants me to leave more than uh, the shopkeeper girl. <laughs> Thanks for the sub there, Teapot. Good meeting you. Huh? What? Yes? I'm here to shop. Which one? Swords and shields. Bargains. Let's take a look. What? There's that. There's some dual blades. Okay, claymore. Dual blades look like they do a bit more. Cost a lot more than the sword, huh? Maybe I should have taken the dual blades at the start. Hmm. Hurry up. Which one? Bargains? What? Uh, battle scythe. Sword. Wet boots? Boots that are wet and slippery. Their natural power helps you land critical hits. What? Excuse me? Let's put on some soaking wet boots. That'll help me get critical hits more often. Back scratcher. A sword. Shut up, Raven. I will shop at my leisure and you will sit there and do your job. <laughs> Used to scratch itchy backs. Maybe your foes will freak out when they see it. Raises chance of knockouts. Okay. 
Oh, guys, uh, guys is a dwarf. Okay. If you're not buying, leave. Which one? Want anything else? What? What? <laughs> Nothing. I, I just thought I'd say hi. Unless you need something, don't talk to me. God, she does not like me at all. That looks delicious. This is Raven's bed. No thanks, I don't want to wake up strangled. This looks like a diary. Maybe just a peek. Let's see. A suspicious man arrived in our town. He claims to have amnesia, which makes him more suspicious. <laughs> That's definitely me. Well, dear diary, I don't like this guy. It's Gaius's diary. Nah, I'm not curious enough to do that. I've done it. I was rude enough right now. What is her friendship level and the negative values? Let's find out. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, there's a description. A young lady who keeps to herself. Despite this, she's considerate of those around her and occasionally may even catch a glimpse of her inner fire. Obviously, the people with hearts are ones I can marry. Okay. Now let's look around and meet some people. Hey, it's the gremlin. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, who are you? My name's Mika. I just moved into the village. I hope we can be friends. Stay away, I'll bite you. <laughs> Why is she like this? Stay away, I'll bite you. Are you okay, girl? Huh? Whoa there. Guar. You're that new person Shara told me about. <laughs> That's right, and your name is... I said stay away. Jump! Oh! She actually bit me! Oh, I didn't think you were serious about the biting. Don't get cocky just because my sister's nice to you. You stay away from her bot. Uh, got it? You don't, you'll be sorry. Hello! Mm. Jara was super mad that somebody messed with the flowers. Wait, don't tell me it was. It wasn't me, I swear. Okay, same thing. Oh, my tummy's got the grumblies. Huh? Read that already. Chara was super mad that somebody messed with the flowers. Huh? What is with her? Her personality is gremlin. She bites you. She has rabies. The whole town's at, it's at uh, risk right now. Um, Let's keep meeting the other people. I like this cast of characters so far. I did really like Rune Factory 2's cast a lot, but that game is just really crusty with the gameplay, I feel. This. this is an interesting looking lantern. Yeah, I am not glad to be back playing farm games again. Um, I haven't done these for a while, but I think I want to do like super long episodes of them. I think that'll be real comfy. Oh, it's you again. I love, love, love fishies. Okay. What an interesting statue. Someone's been leaving offerings offerings here. Oh, you again. Ah, oh, busy. Hey! Wait a second. You were just outside. What gives here? Welcome, welcome. You here for a bath? Or perhaps a soak? She just takes out a bucket of water and just splashes me in the face with it. Huh? What? Pia. Pia. What's your name, Sakia? Leave him alone. Can't you see he's uncomfortable? Sorry about her. <laughs> now then, come the come right this way. <laughs> Wait, you too? Oh no, what's happening here? Huh? No fair, Sakia. I saw him first. He's my customer. I don't know what you're talking about. He's clearly here for a night at our inn. Really? Really? Oh, come on, Pia. Don't cry. Oh, I know. How about this? 
He can stay at the inn, then later he can have a dip in the baths. Do we have a deal? Do we have a deal? <laughs> Splitting the profits. Great, then without further ado, I was trying to figure out what P uh, Pia's outfit was supposed to be, but then I realized she just has like something tied around her shoulders and like that's her midriff down there. What are you wearing? Huh? Don't I get a say in this? That's enough, you two. X or Y can hide dialogue. Can't you see you're bothering the customer? Okay, so I can see the rest of their portrait. I'm grateful you're both so passionate about your work, but remember, the customer's comfort always comes first. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, what is that outfit? Wait, what is that on, like, her wrist? Is that, like, a frill from her dress, or is it, like, another, like, monster part? I'm not quite sure what she is. Was that a skirt, or, like, part of her dress? To tell what she's wearing. No, this one doesn't- uh, Rune Factory 4 is the first one where you can marry- play as a girl and marry guys. This is a re-release of 3. Sorry. Are you serious? Come on, a little aggressive sales tactics never hurt anyone. And she, yeah, sure, her outfit looks like exactly how you'd expect from the top. Sakia. Oh, never mind. I said nothing. My apologies for the trouble. My apologies for the trouble. Allow me to formally welcome you to the Miyako Inn. We pride ourselves on our gourmet food and decadent outdoor baths. Please don't hesitate to use any of our fine facilities. The baths are open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Don't you forget it. <laughs> I repeat, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. My daughter here also deals in some rather odd goods. I recommend you have a look at her wares from time to time. Hey, what do you mean by odd? I sell perfectly normal materials I pick up on my travels. My stock changes every day, so come have a look-see whenever the mood strikes you. I'll be sure to do just that. Is Pia, like, a mermaid girl? I'm kind of getting the imp that impression. Not quite a mermaid, more so a fish girl. I love, love, love fishies. Uh, maybe that explains this dialogue. That's what I like to hear. Um, hi there. What can I do you for? Oh, you're the new guy that moved into the tree. Yeah, that would be me. Thought so. The name's Sakia. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you, too. Still, can't believe the nerve of that Shara. What do you mean? She should have brought you to my shop instead of that hollowed-out tree. There, That's a first impression I'll never get to make again. So much for starting you off as a customer. Oh, sorry about that. Looks like I need to call you in a favor from her on my own. I'll learn about her as it goes on. Okay, then don't tell me. What kind of favor? Tell her to come by my shop and we'll call it even. Uh, sure. That shouldn't be a problem. I'll be waiting. See you around then. My, my, would you happen to be Mika? Um, that's me. My name's Shino. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. How did you know my name already? Yes. I happened to hear we had a new arrival here. Word travels fast in small communities like ours. I guess that makes sense. As the humble proprietress of the town inn, propo proprietress, proprietress, I, I know how to say the word. It's one of those ones that makes me almost bite my tongue though. I kindly request you pay a visit if you ever find yourself in need of some rest and relaxation. I'll be sure to take you up on that. Well, we'll be ready to welcome you with open arms. Okay, who else is here? Hey, there's Pia again. Why are you running like that? I love, love, love fishies. What is this? What the? Oh. I, I'm just gonna steal a squid from her bedroom. I'm sure that's okay. She won't mind. What if I give it back to her? This is Pia's futon. Uh, no. I'm not gonna use other people's beds. There's no diary in there, is there? Uh, wait. Is this one? There's no dialogue. Let's just check the box. Okay. Is that a sword? 
Okay. Hang on, can I... Oh, I can push? Oh. I push her and she runs back to her spot anyway. That's silly. Look at all this stuff. There's no reason to be gentle with inventory. That'll never go bad. You know, stuff like skulls. That is absolutely terrifying. Is she a goth girl? She got skulls? Hello. I suspect we may be in for some rain. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. I'm here to chat. If there ever er, if ever there's something playing in your mind, I'm always here to offer my insight, Mika. Like if you want to know the proper way to wield a weapon, for instance. Huh? And why are you so knowledgeable on that exactly? It's back here. Okay, that's the baths. We're going upstairs. It's already 5 p.m. These are just people's rooms, generic people at the inn. She studied the blade. Yeah, random people, they just go to the inn. Why do you have an egg? Shara was super mad that somebody messed with flowers. She's carrying an egg. Hello, nice to meet you. Oh ho, no no, the displeasure is all mine, my lifelong acquaintance. Oh, you must be the the dad of that other girl that says thing wrong says things wrong. Which means you must also be like the the rich guy of this game. Huh? Um, have we met somewhere before? Yes. My name's Sherman, and you, uh, Mika? Oh. Mika, a splendiferous name. As of today, we are enemies. Huh? <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm sorry, but like in my head, I'm imagining what it would be like if I married the, um, his daughter and she has like this quirk or whatever. You may now kiss the bride. Do you say I do? I don't. <laughs> that would be so funny. We are. I don't Indeed. I very much dread getting to know you better, Mika. <laughs> Same to you. Yeah. Hey, Mika. Oh, hi, guys. How's it going? You seem to be operating under a misunderstanding. Making weapons is my hobby. Huh? It is? What's this? Blaze's Diner. You say it as Blaze? Teleporting people again. This is absolutely disgusting. It's the worst thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> Chef, I'll have another. Wait, if they're saying the opposite of what they mean, don't they mean they don't want any more? This is... <laughs> so good. Oh, is that the dad? Is that a cowboy hat? Here we are. Totally forgot to do this. How stanky his hand looks. Ooh. I should have read his dialogue because he was very compressed and muted. Ooh. Look at, look at her. She just has. It's not a belt, it's just a little pouch. And she got the poofy pants, too. Disgusting. <laughs> Chef, you've outdone yourself again. I can tell this is going to be simply atrocious. <laughs> Thank you for the kind word, Chairman. Bon appetit. And Colette, you'll enjoy the food even more if you take the time and savor it. I know, I know, so hurry up and bring that plate over here, please. Who's this now? What's his name? Rusk? Is he like the sister? No, no, sorry, the brother of her? I think it's a guy. Uh, Grr. I heard that, Russ. Don't lecture me on eating habits, Mr. Picky Eater. Heard that, Rusk. Don't lecture me on eating habits, Mr. Picky Eater. She's got superhuman hearing to match that superhuman appetite. She's got superhuman hearing to match that superhuman appetite. It's weird, because, like, some voices are even more quieter than others, but there's no way to adjust that, so I may as well just read them all out loud. It's full of liquid. A well-loved kitchen. Lots of seasoning and spices. Hello. Hi there. You are... Oh, I'm Mika. I just moved into the big tree. It's a pleasure meeting you. 
Come on, you can't be that much older than me. No need to be no need to be so polite. I'm Rusk, by the way. Uh, right. Thanks, Rusk. Nice meeting you. That's more like it. Nice meeting you too. You can usually find me at the restaurant, so feel free to drop on by. Sure thing. Sounds like fun. An unpleasant day to you. <laughs> An unpleasant day to you. Oh, Hello. Disgusting. Food is repulsive. Therefore, repulsiveness is food. That is my personal philosophy. I'm so hungry. Huh? Same thing. Hi, nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. Are you the person who moved into the Sharon's tree? That's me. I'm Mika. I thought as much. My name is Blaze. I work in the restaurant as a chef. Come on by whenever you have the chance. Yeah, for sure. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay. How's the music sound for you guys? It's not too loud or anything, is it? Obviously, it's drowning out the voices, but that's an impressive plant. My mentor left it for uh, left it here for me. In the middle of the night when I was asleep, no less. Huh. Please help yourself to cooking wine. Maybe I'll take one then. Okay. Free wine. What? I walk in level up. Dude, he's Naruto running! Good evening. Good evening. It's raining now. Look at him. Thank you, Dust Just Dog. I appreciate it. Two years of Moomins and Teddies. That tree you're living in is a special one. As I'm sure you figured out, it's watched over this land for a long time. It's an elder of sorts. Really, the town's elder tree. It's definitely a beast of a thing. Who else can I meet here? There's no one in the square. Anything back here? Water thing. Oh, that's P. Wait, what? You are a mermaid girl. You just, you turned into the fish half on the bottom there. Yep, even the art checks out. Wait, you're not wearing your dress anymore. Boo, rain's the worst. It should be a crime so somebody could go like arrest the sky or whatever. Uh, Pia, quick question. Your legs, why don't you have any? Have you never seen me like this before, Mika? She says it's like the most casual thing in the world. No, I sure haven't. Well, I'm a mermaid. Ta-da! Hey, do you have any squid? I could go for some squid right now. Have I got a surprise for you? Huh? What in the world brought that on? <laughs> I love, love, love fishies. Uh, hang on. No. No, she's gone. Ooh, I love this. Isn't it great how you can just eat fruit and squid raw? Anyway, thanks a bunch, Mika. Okay, she liked that. Oh, I'm busy. Okay. Covers that. Look down here. Oh, it's you. Evening. Evening. What's she look like? She got that sassy, like, adventurer belt on. Look at that. Sassy pose, too. Hey. Did you know it's Masu Trout season? Do you eat fish often? Darn near everything you can catch around here is delicious. No, really, you're missing out if you haven't tasted the local catches. Hello, Conveniently enough, Carlos's Resort is right nearby for all your fishing needs. Stop on by if you ever want to get your angling on. We stock only the freshest feistiest fish in our ponds, guaranteed. You won't find rare, higher quality fish anywhere else. Trust me, you won't regret it. Stop on by sometime, okay? Can I hit the butterfly? No, I can't. I don't have a fishing rod yet, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Carlos's Resort. Dearest brother, the time has come for me to take my leave. My darling sister, must you depart so soon? I cannot bear to see you go. It's a little dramatic, isn't it, guys? My darling sister, must you depart so soon? I cannot bear to see you go. Huh? It pains me too, brother. But I can delay no longer. The hour is at hand. The fish are white. 
It pains me too, brother, but I can delay no longer. The hour's at hand, the fish await. Then promise me this, beloved sister. Promise me you'll come back alive. Sobs. Man. Oh, my dear brother. Weep. Huh? Oh, 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 hey, a customer. Hey. Oh, heck yeah. Welcome to Carlos's Resort. This your first time here? Uh, yeah. Hey. This is a fishing spot where you can catch fish we've raised up special. For a fee, of course. You said it. I wanted to put a spin on the classic angling experience and get people hooked on fishing. Nice one, bro. Isn't that cool? Haha. <laughs> -ha. It's not free, but the best things in life never are. Am I right? Oh, and there's nothing better than a relaxing day of fishing. Like I always say, if you want to earn some extra spending money, Oh no, he he talks in puns. Opportunity. Like I always say, you want to earn some extra spending money. Fishing's a great opportunity. <laughs> what, a, what a funny story, Mark. And there it is, another one of my brother's famous jokes. Smart and funny. He's got it all. Uh, can't hear you. During regular hours, you'll find me, he, me or my sister here manning the shop. So drop by whenever you like. Counting on ya. Counting on ya. Excuse me. Hi. Oh, hey, you're the new guy. Crap, what was your name again? Mika. Oh. Yeah, that. I'm Carlos. Me and my baby sister run a fishing resort by the lake. Oh, wow, a fishing resort. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Think so? Man of good taste. <laughs> two of us will get along like two pearls of the clamshell. Think so? Have you had the chance to say hi to my sister? Since you're new here, introductions should be the first order of business. Just keep in mind that my baby sister is very, very dear to me, so you best be sure to respect her. We clear, brother? Loud and clear. <laughs> no, I understand him. I'm an older brother myself. Great, glad to have you here in Sharance. Sharance. I'm, I'm sure I'm like there's five different things I've been saying wrong this whole time. I can live with that. Hey, did you know it's lamb squid season? Do you eat fish often? Darn near everything you can catch around here is delicious. No, really, you're missing out if you haven't tasted the local catches. Why do I get the feeling that Carmen and Pia would not be good friends? I don't think they get along very well. <laughs> or maybe they do. Maybe they bond over squid eating. Conveniently enough, Carlos's resort is right nearby for all your fishing needs. Stop on by, you ever want to get your angling on? We stock only the freshest, feistiest fish in our ponds. I already said that to me. Well, it's already getting late. Why did Pia... Oh, what's this? Pia turned into a mermaid, but she did have legs before. Did they just, like, morph on and off or what? Oh, save point. I don't know why I really need too many multiple save files. Okay. What's this? Oh? Painter girl? La -dee -da. La -dee -da. Rainbow. Rainbow. Hang on, what's the rest of her outfit look like? Okay, she got paint splotches on it. That's cute. Another masterpiece. No one can hold a candle to the shining brilliance of my artistic talent. Oh, she was talking. I could couldn't even hear her. The rain sound from outside still plays and it covers things. Are those bears at the top? Look at those bears. I can... It's so freaking quiet. Cannot hear it. It's so muffled. Yeah, I should stretch while I do this. Tales of my genius will spread far and wide. No doubt countless fans from around the world will soon be beating a path to my door. Oh, how to prepare. Sounds like chats fans of her. But I wouldn't want all this attention to interfere with my art. What to do? But I wouldn't want all this attention to interfere with my art. What to do? I'll need assistance. A hundred to do to start. I wonder if any candidates would be kind enough to just stride through my door. I'll need assistance. A hundred should do to start. I wonder if any candidates will be kind enough to just stride through my door. 
Hello? What's your name? Nice to meet you. Stare. Oh, she's got, like, a little paint splash on her face as well, and it's also on her hat. Stare. Is there something on my face? It's more that your face is actually very charming. Well, that's very nice. Thank you. Huh? Ooh, why don't you sit and model for me? Model? So you like to draw, I'm guessing? No, take a look around, Mika. She, she, just, she likes to build Legos. <laughs> yes, of course she likes to draw. Huh. I like to draw, he says. Please, would you not liken me to a mere painter? I'm nothing of the sort. Painting is just the start of my repertoire. I sculpt, I carve, I embroider, and more. I, Daria, create all forms of art, thereby making the world a more colorful place. Rainbow. With the power of rainbows. <laughs> wow, you must be a really well-rounded artist. That's impressive. <laughs> Never mind modeling. Perhaps I'll promote you all the way up to my sidekick. Huh? Sidekick? By the way, what's your name? Mika. Nice to meet you, Mika. I'm Daria. My atelier is near the entrance to the forest. If you ever feel like to gaze upon my wondrous works, sidekick, feel free to come by any time. Sounds good. Huh? Hang on. She just called me a sidekick? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Autumn is the season for art. <laughs> you do realize it's spring, right? Okay. There's something in here. Hey! Just gonna steal her food. <laughs> okay. Just a normal table is about the last thing you could say about this. What are you talking about? Can't get more normal than this. I mean, just look at those legs. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking at. Huh, what's this supposed to be? <laughs> Wait, what is this supposed to be? You don't even remember. Better not touch anything. A place for everything and everything in its place, I always say. You do? A work in progress. What's she going for with this one? Just you wait. One of my latest masterpiece I complete or er, is complete. I wager it will fetch oh a trillion gold on the open market. She must use this wheel to sculpt pottery. My genius will make your head spin. And spin! And spin! And oop. Welcome to the Rainbow Studio. Huh? Relax, it's just me. Don't do that. There's a bunch of artwork here, but I don't really get it. It would seem my themes are too advanced for you. I like art. You can talk to me about art. Everything here looks like it could spring to life at any second. Oh, don't be silly. They don't move. At least not while you're looking at them. But I'm not. She be teasing. This is Daria's bed. Not sleep there. Flower field. Is this a dungeon area? Oh, hang on. Cabbage? Just find cabbage in the wild. Anything else? Oh. Apple juice? Just a glass of apple juice just chilling in the fields? Okay. What's my skills looking like? Uh. Love searching. Wait, love? Skill needed to use love magic. Higher skill levels increase that. B -b 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 love spells? What do I do with those? <laughs> um. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can walk still. Do they mean healing? Because calling that a love spell is a little weird. It's 10 p.m. I should probably go to bed soon. Hold up. Yeah, this leads to the fields. Oopsie. Oh, I can toss stuff on the ground instead of actually accidentally throwing it away. That's good. I need to just go ahead and make some room and then plant some stuff. 
for combat only, don't worry. Okay, good. Because I was. The whole, there we go. The whole love potion, love spell stuff has always been kind of cringy to me. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oopsie, no, pick that up. Good, I, I better be able to stack held items. Um... Let me just put on my cheap tool. Wait, no. Oh, this is weird. Hang on. Okay, good. There's a shortcut for that. Oh! Now that speeds things up. Um... Oh. Whip. Hold up. Uh... Buttons for this feel weird. Where'd it go? Huh? Where did they go? Where did my seeds go? I, oh, I have them equipped. Okay, I'm not holding them, though. Okay. You can only plant one at a time. At least the rain is watering it all. Um, Just getting used to the buttons here. They're gonna be uneven as hell, but it's okay. Okay. Boo boo. Oh, I'm out. I thought I used all that there. In charge by holding B. I assume you mean the cheap tool. Oopsie. I'm getting sleepy. It's 1 a.m. Hang on a second. Oh, do I have to manually put it in? I thought I could just, like, sort it by opening up the menu. That's annoying. Look at- look at that stack. That's pretty ridiculous. There we go. Pull it all out there. I think there's just a bot in chat there. One of you mods can just bop that. I'm still figuring- I keep pressing a different button, trying to open up the menu, even though I figured out what buttons I need to press to sort through stuff. Do that. There we go. I should go to bed before my character dies now. Make a quick save. Make entry in diary. Time to call it a day. <sighs> oh, no, 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 that's one that's getting just straight up bop there. There we go. Mika's birthday, New Year's Day, bean toss contest. Are we tossing bean bags or actual beans? Chara's birthday. Fishing Frenzy Contest. Defluffing Festival? What? You mean like taking the fluff off the woolies? Spring Harvest Festival, Raven's Birthday. By the way, it's been a while. We haven't addressed the, uh, the, you know, the thing that I was a woolly and I turned into a human. That hasn't come up again. It unequips my items. Hang on, I should check the board today. Your first request. Please come see me so I can give you the first request. Okay. No one's here. Are you upstairs? Oh, this is the wrong house. What am I doing? This isn't the flower shop. Can I talk to her while sleeping? This is Karina's bed. No, she's getting out of the bed, so... Morning. Not liking how drab it is outside, even the weather wants to go home and sleep. Morning. Morning. Today's your birthday, right? Yay. Guess I should wish you happy birthday, then. They acknowledged my birthday. Are you planning to ship out a bunch of stuff, Mika? Well, yeah, that's the hope. I see. Ah, oh, more work. Hang on, I didn't see the rest of her clothes. Yeah, looks about right, what I expect. You? Excuse me, do you have a second? 
Oh, you're the new guy that moved into the farm. Or the tree. Yeah, that's me. Ooh, always great to get fresh blood around here. The name's Hazel. I run the general store, and I'm the zookeeper for the laziest daughter in town. <laughs> wow. Wow. She made sure for, she went for that low blow within earshot of Karina. It's not easy working two jobs, but I manage. Wow. Plenty of seeds for your farm, so come visit me often. Don't forget, the best fertilizers are blood, sweat, and tears. I'd like to keep my fluids where they are, but I'm ready to work hard. That's what I like to hear. Proper for a young person to have spunk. Ugh. If only my daughter had half your drive. Oh, boy. God, I, I was probably, like, as lazy as Karina when I was, like, a freaking 12-year-old. But the excuse was, I was, like, 12. Hey, where's Raven going? Morning. Morning. Don't talk to me. <laughs> oh, I love, I love just talking to her. And she's like, no, no. Great. Happy birthday. Oh, she remembered. Huh? huh? Your birthday. I heard it's today. <laughs> hey, Raven. Don't act friendly with me. <laughs> huh? Uh huh? Get too close and you'll be cursed too. Cursed? <laughs> hey, Raven. Don't act friendly huh? with me. Have I met you? Hi, nice to meet you. Wh wh who are you? Evelyn. My, and you are? That's a fancy looking outfit. There's like a monkey on your shoulder. There's a cat on your head. Or is that a plush? There's like cat things in your hair there. Meek is the name. I, uh, went through some stuff, and then other stuff happened, and long story short, I got permission to live in the Great Tree. Oh dear, sounds like it's been quite the whirlwind for you. That must be- it must have been taxing. I'm sorry. She look- her hair reminds me of Patchy from Toho. What is that like, her shirt? It's like, torn, and there's like, another red shirt beneath it? Look at that. Wasn't all that bad, fortunately. Oh, I ought to introduce myself, ought I? I'm Evelyn. It's a pleasure. My goodness. You may have come across this already, but my family members tend to stay, say the opposite of what they truly mean. I imagine that's a lot to deal with. It is, actually. It is. They're truly kind people, though. I hope you'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I intend to. <laughs> Though the friendlier you become, the more they may insult you. Great. Good morning. Ooh. Hello, Mika. It feels like it might rain at any minute, doesn't it? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, happy day. Ah, Mika, today's your birthday, is it not? Uh, felicitations to you. <laughs> What's felicitations? Never heard that before. Mika, are you familiar with fake layering? Can't say I am. What is it? I like to think it refers to fluttery, flowy clothing, like a fairy's wing. Or maybe that's just a tire that looks layered, even though it isn't. What do you think it is? <laughs> Aha! You don't know either. Okay, same thing. Is that cat on her head moving? I think the tail is, like, waving. Disgusting! Disgusting! Do you have lips, or they just, like, get, like, surgically removed? Disgusting. More. More. Alright, alright. Just give me a moment. Alright, give me a moment. Big rice ball. Hmm. Our three-star chef's cooking is as terrible as ever. You just keep saying it's disgusting. More, More please. Yes. Here you are. Blaze has outdone himself again. Blaze has outdone himself again. I know it's delicious, but please be more mindful of your portions, Father. And shall we go to the dining room? It's impolite to feast in just any room of the manor. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. 
But first, another helping. Very well, just a moment. Here comes you. Good night, Papa. Good night, Papa. And terrible morning to you, my despised daughter, Sophia. But wait, he referred to her as his daughter, so that means she's not his daughter? I hate you too, Papa. <laughs> I hate you too, Papa. Are you heading out somewhere? That's wrong. No. I find myself in good spirits today, so I'm going for a stroll. I find myself in good spirits today, so I'm going for a stroll. Very well. I only ask that you don't be mindful of your surroundings and stay out of trouble. No. I won't. I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I'll be I know the red text is reversed, but like, them speaking, they don't have red text. You know what I mean? It only makes sense from a player reading the dialogue, not the actual character. My goodness, another conversation in that silly opposite speak. Honestly, where do these two get it from? Where do they get it from? Tell me. <laughs> Mika, are you familiar with the same thing? A terrible morning. Good terrible morning. morning to you. Good morning. Today is not your birthday, yes? How dreadful. I must take this opportunity to wish you a miserable day. Thank you. I appreciate it, I think. Mika, have you met our sous chef yet? Who? Sous Chef Blaze is the town chef. Accordingly, Sous Chef is his assistant. The large and voracious up-and-coming professional. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you forgot her name. Okay, there's no one else in here right now, I don't think. I could take a look. <laughs> Skill up. Hang on, can I loot the place? It's a wine rack. Must be Sherman's private collection. Not taking any today. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Morning. Morning. Today's your birthday, isn't it? How unfortunate. How unfortunate. You want to thank your parents for bringing you into this world. Um, that's meant to be a compliment, I think. I'm fine. I'm actually rather bored right now. Really? I can hang out for a bit, I guess. We can talk. Fine. Didn't you hear me? I said I'm bored. Save it for some other time. Huh? Oh, oh, right. Opposite. Okay, is there a maid girl in this game? Or not, because there's two daughters this time for the rich house. Doesn't seem like there's anybody here. Okay, have I met all the girls yet? Let me count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's still a few more left. Oddward Valley. Okay, this is just a whole area to look around. What's this, though? Hi, do you want to be friends? No, he's gonna attack me. No house here. Uh... I don't think I've met the witch granddaughter. Oh, hang on, this is the witch house right here, isn't it? The Witch's Cauldron. Let's have a look in here. Hello? What is that? What are you holding? <laughs> At long last, a new patient. Oh, she got a nice witch outfit. You got braids, too. So, what seems to be the problem? Headache, backache, somewhere unmentionable ache. Oh, okay, we just met, girl. Settle down. Huh? Uh, hmm, so your mystery affliction has left you incapable of coherent speech as well. Oh god! <laughs> She's gonna shoot me with that trumpet machine gun. Fear not, just one little jab and you'll be right as rain. <laughs> She's holding me at gunpoint. <laughs> Is this the one chat thinks I'm gonna love the most? Oh, possibly. Well, I do, chat does know I like witch girls. Now listen. Don't worry, it'll only hurt for a second. Well, sometimes it hurts for a few more seconds. Fair warning. I'm trying to tell you, I'm not sick. That's enough, Marion. 
That's enough, Marion. I'm sorry about her. She sometimes has difficulty listening to others. Don't try to stop me, Granny. He can be treated yet. Er, he can be treated yet? I guess that makes sense. I read it wrong. I wouldn't exactly call your random application of mystery cures treatment. Besides, the patient in question has been trying to tell you he isn't sick this whole time. Huh? Is that true? Well... Good grief, you're supposed to be a witch! But here you are trying to apply unproven healing practices from foreign lands. You're just old-fashioned, Granny. There are some things even the most powerful magic in the world can't fix. Even witches need to learn how to adapt to the times. Perhaps if you mastered the fundamentals first, we could discuss how to innovate on them. Don't you worry, Granny. One day everyone will acknowledge my greatness as a healer. Speaking of which... You, come be my test subject. It'll be a cinch getting people to trust my methods if I use you as proof they work. They're gonna find my bullet-ridden body. Um, I'll, I'll think about it. Good! If you ever catch a cold or get poisoned, come back here for treatment. Granny runs the place on the weekend, so try to limit all injuries and illnesses to weekdays for science. I only said I would think about it. Great, I'll be waiting. Great, I'll be waiting. <laughs> and she's not listening. Listening. It's been almost two hours, and we've mostly still been meeting people. Quite a cast of characters in this one. There's some purple liquid in the cauldron. Drinking that will only knock you out, unfortunately. Huh? Only? <laughs> Don't even think I can make this much mess if I tried. Whoa, these syringes are massive. That's a syringe? You gotta be for an elephant or something? Those are backup syringes my granddaughter uses. They're not properly calibrated yet, so it's not like she could use one at the drop of a hat, though. Oh, I've heard about you. You would be, uh... Mika, it's nice to meet... Yes, that's right, Mika. As someone in the medical profession, I pride myself on never forgetting a patient's name. Nope, my memory is a steel trap. I don't recall telling you my name before, though. Right, yes, I'll be seeing you at the, uh... Apo apothecary? Is that how you say it? In no time. You aren't listening, are you? I'm Marion, an apprentice witch and doctor in training. If you ever feel the slightest bit unwell, come straight to me. No matter when. No matter where. No matter what. Why does she sound so angry about that? Imagine, like, she wakes up at 3 a.m. after hearing a bonk in the night, and I'm just standing there being like, I have a cold. <laughs> You said no matter when, no matter where, and no matter what. Uh, will do. Okay, so what is Witch Girl like? Probably mystery herbs. Everything's so neat and tidy. No one wants to be treated in a messy place, wouldn't you agree? Alright, feel better soon, friend. Take a look around. Well, I like some of the girls. There we go. I haven't met them all yet. Oh, there's the gremlin. Hello. Hmm. Oh, today's your birthday? Good for you. What? Do you want me to bite you? What is with her? What is with her? She wants to bite me. So jarring. Looks like some clouds covers rolled in. I hate when the weather doesn't just commit to sun or rain. Hello. Oh, Mika, today's your birthday, right? Best wishes. Happy birthday. <laughs> Rule number one of business, service with a smile. Everyone knows that. <sighs> Everyone should know that, at least. Hmm. Talk about her daughter. Hang on, did I go over here yet? Oh, woolies. You plant stuff here. Let's ignore them for now. Okay. Um, where am I at? I haven't been over here yet. 
Vale River. Oh, cutscene for this place. It's very wintry here. Doesn't seem like there's a house at the front like the artist girl, so let's go back. What about down here? Soul Toronto Desert, recommended level 15. Okay, that's what that stuff does there. You seek cinnamon hidden deep within the dunes. Why is the sign asking me questions? I just wanted to skip through it. Ores, blah, 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 blah. Never mind. Hang on. Wait, is that dying? Why are they dying? Wait. Pink turnip. Toy herb. Looks like it's still growing. I watered it yesterday, for crying out loud. There you go. Oh, it's empty. Of course it is. And let me get some water. Hang on. If I mash the button... Okay, there we go. Okay, perfect. It's good again. Pick things up. Have to put this away for it to work. Dude. It's really not a shortcut just to put stuff away. Why can't I do this now? Our button didn't do this before, but because I have something equipped, I guess it works. Okay. I guess I can just do this to... Okay, no, I'm still holding the sword. How do I put a weapon away, for crying out loud? Oh, great. Oh, now I can pick things up. I can't pick things up while holding the watering can, but I can with the sword. It's really weird. Do this. That there. Do this here. Oh, for crying out loud. Interface is weird to get used to here. Manually have to do it on the pause menu. Oh, that can be annoying. I wonder if this apple juice in my back pocket will be fine. May as well get some money right quick before what's-her-face shows up. Karina, that was her name? Oh, hello. Pink turnip seeds. Uh, whip. God, the button interface is so weird for this. Easier to just put the sword on, since I can take things. Perfect. Selling grass is at the start's the best way to get myself some money, I think. Just go ahead and stack them. She'll be here around five. Okay, let me get these. I remember these grasses being mildly useful in a few things. Okay. Hang on, if I'm holding the same item, I can stack them like that. Uh. Because I have to manually take it out, though, if I do that. Okay, they stack up to nine. Let me just ditch all of these, get myself some pocket change. I've got 180 because I spent money last time. Well, I don't need extra rune points. And there's plenty of grass, I just want to sell some stuff. Hang on. Throw some last minute stuff in there. I don't 
remember the sell prices or if they like nerfed anything, so we'll have to see. Oh, it went up to 618, nice. Are you planning to ship out a bunch of stuff, Mika? Well, yeah, that's the hope. Okay, lazy girl. What a lovely day we're having. I'm sure the flowers are happy to soak up all this wonderful sunshine. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey, today's your birthday, right? Happy birthday. What is it you need me to do? Well, for starters, let's see. I know. How about you introduce yourself to the locals? I've already been doing that. Now that's a sensible idea. Mm, you did just move in, after all. It's only proper that you let everyone know who you are. Oh, and don't forget to visit Daria, too. She's an artist who lives down past the general store towards Prevera Forest. Daria, artist, forest, got it. Once you've said hello to everyone, come back and let me know. Will do. I've introduced myself to everyone. Okay, looks like I did it. Well done. While you were walking around and saying your hellos, did you notice a skill level up? I bet you were like, huh? Yeah, I really was. Oh dear. Weird how the other one... Wait, what? Huh? Was that menu messed up? The bottom option highlighted no matter what, but I was trying to highlight the top one. You guys did see that, right? <laughs> that was weird. You're no fun. I was hoping you'd come back to me totally gobsmacked, Mika. Anyway, what improved was your walking skill. It's easy enough to raise. All you have to do is stroll around and it'll happen automatically. You also have an eating skill that goes up as you chow down. He. And a sleeping skill that improves as you sleep. I can work on those in real life. Oh. I'm more skilled than I thought. You can check the details on these proficiencies and more in the camp menu. You'll get all sorts of bonuses as each skill levels up, so it's a good idea to learn exactly what each one does. I'll do that. Now, let's see. What have you do next? I know. How about you ship an item? Anything will do. Like, anything, anything. That's what I said, yes. <laughs> it's crucial you get used to shipping your excess items. I'm sure you'll find it easy enough, but there's nothing wrong with practicing anyway. Good point. I'm on it. Your shipping bin is smack in the middle of your fields. Hold what you want to ship, then put it in the bin. I've already done that, though. You silly idiot. I've shipped things. I'll ship something else, then. How about that? All right, I made a shipment. I should report back to Shara. Now, where the hell did she go? Probably over here. Shara, I shipped an item. Excellent, good work. What did you end up going with? Uh, something I foraged in my fields. Boy, Mika, you certainly are economical. Waste not, want not is such a respectable motto to live by. You'll make an excellent farmer. And with that, my requests for you have been finished. Oh, she just dropped something on the ground next to her gremlin sister. After you complete requests, many people will offer you a reward and thanks. You can get your hands on some pretty impressive items this way, especially if the request was a difficult one, or if the requester was in a particularly good mood. Of course, rewards notwithstanding, your first priority should be helping for helping's sake. No worries there, I'm just glad to lend a hand, even if I don't get anything for it. <laughs> That's the spirit. Alright, next let me teach you how to use the mailbox. I'll ask Grandpa to do me a favor and send you a request later. Afterwards, make sure you check the mailbox located next to your front door. Is any part of that unclear? I got it. The request letter is going to come to my mailbox, which is by my front door. <laughs> Precisely. Oh, and please do Grandpa's request for him. It'd be awfully nice of you. Absolutely. Okay, now give me the stuff. Oh, just a bunch of stuff. Pick it up. No, don't drop the sword. Holy crap. Oh, well, whatever. Mika, have you seen? Have you met Sous Chef yet? Who? Sous Chef blazes the town chef accordingly. The Sous Chef is his assistant, the large and voracious up-and-coming professional. Okay, yeah, we've seen that one before. Okay. I've taken care of that. I guess I should go plant my remaining seeds I got. 
I keep leveling up my walking skill. Hello, ma'am. Hey, Raven. Don't act friendly with me. Get too close, you'd be cursed too. Okay. She really doesn't want to be friends with me. What's wrong? I thought I was cool to be friends with. Unbelievable. Take this. No. No. Put this on. Yay. Uh, equip. Put this away. Still takes getting some use, use to here. Excellent. Good talk. Didn't I have eight? Guess not. I thought the icon said eight. I only planted four. Er, yeah, I did. Okay. I guess I misread the thing. It's gonna take a while to get used to this button layout. Which is weird. Like, I feel like they could have, like, changed it up a little bit. Can I not pick this up? I can pick this up. Okay, cut it first. There we go. Might be worth something there. Okay. Do this here. Oh, hang on. I should probably refill this. There we go. Water those there. Now, friend, I'm well aware that you have to water crops in a farming game. Oh, why did it go there? Excellent. I could stack these for a bit more. It gave me some money. Oh, it's raining now. Excellent. Ooh, listen to this music. Um, it's too late to do any more requests. I can't really go monster hunting in the in the forest or anything. I should just stack them more. Hang on, let's stack some things and call it a night. Maybe tomorrow I can do the other requests and then maybe just go into the woods. I feel like they're gonna save their um going into the like the monster areas as a request somewhere. Hang on, rain is free watering. Excellent. Oh, more seeds. Those can just, like, pop out while you're picking things up. That's handy. Oh. Sometimes the control stick kind of, like, flicks back and turns me around. I don't usually have that issue with the Switch Pro controller. Okay, we'll take this. There's another one. Hang on, let's go ahead and equip these. Um. No, I had more. Weird how it doesn't stack them right away like that. Okay. Okay. No monster hunting right now. I'll we'll probably get some farm farm some drops from them. Rain is free watering. There we go. No, you good friend. Hang on. It's really awkward, because when I auto-equip the, the turnip, it, like, it puts my sword over my head, and I have to manually put the sword away. I think that'd be, like, automatic or something. Hang on. Oh, I just realized. Oh, that takes a lot of my HP, yeah. Probably should eat some of these. Hold up. Do I have any more seeds? No, I don't. Hang on. Let's go ahead and just sell the stuff now. It won't matter until tomorrow, though. Um, how do you use the magic seeds? I didn't look into that yet. Is it, like, permanent? She did say something about it following me around and leveling up, but I'm just worried I'm going to use it and then it's just going to be gone the next day. Alright, it's past midnight. I should be a good moment and go to bed. Oops. 
helps if I plant it. Does it follow me around, really? Ooh, this is some comfy music. Oh, don't do that. Make an entry in the diary. Moomin Farm. Data saved. Good. Time to call it a day. Time to hit the hay. Sounds like my sleeping skill increased. What's this? I can store my outfits here. Okay. Um, she doesn't arrive until five. Nope. I just realized there's a water icon meter at the top of the HP bar there. When I equip the thing anyway. There's no requests yet. Fantastic. She did say I had to take a request first, but do I want to take the mailbox or check the mailbox first? I'm sure by now you've heard from Shara about requests by mail. Come see me for the... T oh, the request comes through the mail. I must have misread that. Well, let's accept message for me. Uh, Marjorie. Yes. There we go. Now run for it. I, I'm glad that everything's not locked up right away. Good morning. What a lovely day we're having. I'm sure the flowers are happy to soak up all this wonderful sunshine. Good morning. Hmm. What's up? Mika, have you ever thought about being a little more fashionable? Uh, how so? Well, for one, even something as simple as wearing perfume can make a world of difference. I don't have any, though. That's where I come in. I'll give you some. Come speak to me when I'm running the shop, and I'll put the perfume I feel like using on you. What? So you're the one who gets to decide. Come on, don't you trust my taste? <laughs> I didn't say that, no. Why am I suddenly terrified? What is she gonna spray me with? Just let me know when you're ready, and I'll give it a whirl. Welcome. Is she telling me that I'm stinky? I'm um, here for some perfume. <laughs> perfume? Look at you, Mr. Scent Savvy. Let's see. Today's recommended fragrance is Dun Dun Dun. The Iron Imagination. Or are you kidding me? Shut up, me. Wonderful. Nope, it's made of real iron. Talk to Gaius with this on, and I'll bet you'll have a new best friend. Okay. Now I smell like burning metal. Okay. Hey, it's the gremlin. What's up? Morning. Morning. Hmm. <laughs> Um, sorry. She's waiting. Waiting to pounce. Bite my fingers off. Ah, Mika. You're here about the request, I assume. Yeah, what do you need help with? Have you met Marjorie at the, uh, apothecary? I feel no confidence saying that three times fast. Yeah. Good. She ordered certain flowers from me, so they finally arrived. I already told her to come get them, but her memory isn't what it used to be. She undoubtedly forgotten. I'd appreciate it if you remind Marjorie her order's waiting, and that she should come get it. You just want me to give her a reminder. I'd be happy to deliver the flowers while I'm at it. No, that's okay. She ordered them. It's only right she comes get them herself. I'll leave you to it, then. It was nice of me to offer to just deliver them. Candy? Who put this here? No! That's my secret stash! This isn't a very good hiding place, you know. It is too. I'll give you one, so don't tell Shara, okay? Sure! You have to promise, cross your heart and hope to die. That's just a plate of pudding. A flan. She's just looking at me, waiting to kill, waiting to bite. Is there anyone that can give me a rabies shot? It's probably the witch girl with the trumpet gun. What's this? Staff only, don't touch. Wonder if this is where they arrange flowers. Okay. Hey, Morning. it's Rusk. Nice weather today. Morning. Morning. I can't deal with turnips. They're hard as a rock and their stock is so bitter. Blech. Oh, hey, it's you. Morning. Good Morning. Good morning. 
I went to the sea once when I was a little girl. I was blown away by how enormous it is. Makes the lake look like a drop of water by comparison. It left a big impression on Carlos, too. That's why there's all this oceany stuff around the resort. It's kind of his thing. <laughs> Give him a look sometime. He'd be more than happy to tell you all about them. Seriously, he'll talk your ear off without... Uh, without end about those things if you give him a chance. Here she goes. The house with the well. Ah, this must be it. I mean, I've been here before. I had to meet everyone to get to this quest. Hey, what's up, Marion? Morning. morning, patient. Morning. Good morning. What brings you in? What's the problem? Are you feeling unwell? She holds up the gun and ready to just kill. Um, here to chat. How are you feeling today? Huh? Ah, well, uh... Uh, if I say been better, she'll probably do something funny. <laughs> splendid! Let's get straight to the apothecary. <laughs> What's so splendid about it? What brings you in? What's the problem, Unwell? What does she sell? What might you be looking for? Uh, magic and staves? Fireball, water laser, cure. Uh, not designed as a weapon, so it's not very strong. Okay, we don't need that stuff right now. Buy something next time. What might you be looking for? Never mind. Is there anything else? Nope. Goodbye, funny witch girl. Now, is she over here or upstairs? Upstairs. I tried to glance over at chat, thinking I was holding up to go up the stairs, but I just dragged to the side. She's not here. What are these? They're brooms. Is there a diary I can look at here again? That'd be funny. Wouldn't that be so funny? The sink is kept nice and clean. Okay, looks like that's that. Let me see here. Oh, there she is. Did I just not notice her? She blended right in there. Good morning. I genuinely did not see her. She blended in like a chameleon to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good morning. She's gonna inject me the moment I. S Marion's gonna inject me with something the moment I say my eyesight's bad. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I said good morning like. 500 times on this specific recording. What brings you here, dearie? Wells asked me to deliver a message for him. He says the flowers you requested have arrived and you can come get them. Oh! Those flowers, that's right. It had completely slipped my mind. So, out with, the, out with them then. Or did you not bring them along? Uh, Wells said, and I quote, her order's waiting and she should come get it. Oh, that stubborn old goat. Oh, fine. You tell Wells I'll be over to get them before long. Sounds good. Thank you, dearie. Could not see her. She blended right in. She's, I like how her model is just holding that wacky gun. Okay. So I'm guessing there's more characters I get to meet later, because there is... 11, 11 bachelorettes, and I've met how many now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, there's still two more then. Two more girls, at least. Right, flower shop. What are you doing? Okay, same thing. She's not gonna bite me yet. We'll talk to all the girls. It'll be fun. I passed your message to Marjorie, Wells. Good, good. Thanks for doing that. Here, let me give you this. Used to use this old thing myself. Stumbled across it when I was looking for something else. I figured it'd be a proper farm warming gift for you. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind. You can use the sickle to cut grasses and harvest crops. Depending on how much your crop has grown, you might even get some seeds out of it. You want to grow quality produce, this is a tool you can't do without. You have a wealth of farmland to plant, so it'd be a waste to not make use of it. I'll take that to heart, sir. 
Quest complete. Get out of the way. Well, I got a sickle now. Hang on, how much item space do I have? Decently a lot. Did I have to buy bag upgrades in the first two games? I don't remember. Okay. I would still like to play Rune Factory 4 and 5 sometime as well. I also have, um, Frontiers for the Wii. I, I have my copy of that. Oh, what's this? Hold up. Every time I want to say something not related to the game, I walk into another cutscene. The first bit of this game is very dialogue and cutscene heavy. We've only barely gotten to farm yet. Huh, I don't know why, but it's as if someone's calling out to me. Just where do you think you're going? Oh, it's you, Wells. That path leads to Prevera Forest. It's not a place you should wander into unprepared. Why's that? Because there are monsters lurking inside. Monsters are despicable, underhanded creatures. You never know when they'll strike. And you've heard the talk of, about the Tanuki, I assume. That creature's gotten bold enough to show its face in town of late, causing all sorts of problems. Its den is deep in the forest. If only there was someone who could teach it a lesson. Wells? Leave it to me. Do you truly mean it? You can count on me. Then so I shall. Tell the truth, you seem capable enough to handle yourself in the forest. But make sure you keep clear of the other areas. Other areas? Well, just to the, waist, uh, the west of Sharon's Tree, you'll find a scorching desert and a freezing river. While to the east lies a blustery valley. Those regions are much more dangerous than this forest. Wander into them carelessly and you might not wander out. Now listen carefully. You may explore the forest, but promise me you'll steal, uh, steer clear of the other regions for now. All right, I promise. If you're going into the forest, you should learn how to use the escape spell. Escape can be used whenever you find yourself in over your head or you simply wish to return home in a flash. If you use it in a dungeon, it will take you back to the entrance and using it in town will bring you to the back in front of the Sharon's tree. Press L to open your pocket, assign it to that. Doesn't even use RP. Oh, thank goodness. That was a huge problem in Rune Factory 1. Use it as much as you like. Furthermore, escape is a special item that can't be removed from your bag. You never have to worry about losing it. Sounds pretty handy. And one more thing. Don't even think about bringing any monsters from the forest home with you. Can't do that yet. Wells really has it out for monsters. Uh-oh. Wait till he finds out I'm one. I'm actually a fluffy sheep friend. Okay. Time to dole out some justice. Take that, fluffy sheep friend. How dare you wander near the town? That'll teach him. Disgusting. I'm gonna take this. Okay. Boop. Funny little portal. There's no magic machine this time. My rune points are super depleting. Come on. Something clicked for me just now. I learned the short sword dash attack. If I attack while running, I'll be able to hit enemies at a greater distance. Okay. Nice. Okay, I gotta level up. Um, three. Yeah, get rid of you. Hang on, are these more art things? Yeah, the Madaria must have made those. Hang on, let me check the map. Combat definitely feels like a bit more fun here. Oh, that did a lot. Oh, God! Okay, just a couple hits from those dudes and I'm nearly dead. Yeah, I think that's enough of trying that right now. I need to get slowly get some freaking levels in there. What's this? Oh, this place. This is where I found the cabbage and stuff. I wonder if I should just sell those. Ah. Okay, so if I just run through here mashing A, I might be able to pick some stuff up. Nice. 
That spider just, like, a couple hits and I'm nearly dead. Uh, is there an armor slot? Yeah, okay, I need to get some armor for myself. This game definitely feels like it takes a bit to get going, but I've never seen the characters and stuff before, so I don't mind sitting through an, uh, a long opening. Like, when I wanted to do farming games again here, um... Like, they can get a little bit stale when they go on for a while, so I wanted to make sure I do, like, super long VODs of them. And that way they can just be a fun thing to do every once in a while. Here we go. I appreciate that a lot of told uh, a lot of people told me that they missed Stardew Valley and the Rune Factory streams. Maybe you want to go back to them again. Do that. Okay. Uh, it's 2 p.m. Yeah, I could sell the cabbages. They're basically a crop. Okay. Could heal with those, but am eh, good. Could sell the pudding I stole from a child. Yeah, let's do that. Excellent. Take this. I could go to the bathhouse. Hang on. I forgot to water my crops, to be honest. I'm used to it- was used to it raining, so I didn't do that. Let's take care of that right quick. I like the skills going up. Yeah, Rune Factory 1 and 2 had, like, a skill system as well, but, like... A lot of, like, Rune Factory 1 and 2 have, like, very shallow mechanics. I gotta heal. I gotta heal. Hang on. Uh, eat. Jeez, that heals a ton right now. Okay. Well, the thing is, when I go back to Stardew Valley, I'm gonna be playing with the expanded mod. Oh, damn, that does a lot of damage to me. Do this. Okay. So there's gonna be a lot more to do. Like, things can definitely get tedious in those games, for sure. But they are very fun to kind of come back to every once in a while. But if you approach them with the mindset of, oh, I have to finish this game before I can play something else, it, you just can't do that. Oh, did I lift up the stump? Huh? Uh, hang on. Was that a stump or a rock there? I'm losing my mind. Okay. Move this here. Whip. It was a stone. Okay. Oh, hang on. Aha! And 618 goes to... Ooh, that's good. Good money. Okay. Well, they can go on for a long while, yeah. They're not for everybody, but a lot of people did tell me that they genuinely did miss me playing those games when I stopped. Hang on, I'm gonna go to the bathhouse now. It's probably the best thing I can do. It was here, wasn't it? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome. I'd like a bath? Yes. That'll be three oh, three hundred. Okay, we're up in the cost here. It was like pocket change for like when Melody ran the place. What did it cost in Rune Factory 2? The problem with Rune Factory 2 though is um like, here's the thing, when I played that game, even the most die-hard Rune Factory fans were like, this is the most skippable game in the series, and I understand why. The first half of the game is you basically just, like, uh, talking to the characters and, um, getting married. And that's fun. That's pretty much, like, could be the game by itself. But the second half of the game is doing tedious grinding stuff while playing as your kid, and it's the most boring crap ever. I did not like the child half. I see why they never did that again. Anyways, okay, I'm healed up. Hello. What are you holding? Sea urchin? Our town's a little rustic, huh? But I like how connected I feel to nature when I'm here. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hmm, that smells good. Real relaxing. Not many people around here use weapons, so don't get much in the way. I well, don't get much in the way of official orders. Ooh, that's gotta be rough. Hmm? Why would it be? <laughs> Just trust me on this one. Is Raven getting paid? <laughs> Maybe she is? Oh, you again. What was your name? Hello. What refreshing weather we're having today. Hello. Hello. I can't believe it. I put so much effort into that outfit, but a tanuki ate it. I knew I should have made it from Ironleaf instead of tur turnips. 
It's kind of weird how, like, she's the other rich girl daughter. Like, I like her outfit. It's pretty stylish. She, I think those are plushies on her, but, like, she doesn't look like the rich girl. There we go. Her shirt even got, like, that rip and tear and showing off the midriff, too. I mean, it's Rune Factory. Half the girls show off their midriff. It's the memes! Ugh. Wait, you can't date Evelyn? Wait, really? Really? What? Huh. Oh, that's a crime. I was kind of thinking about dating her, to be honest. I am disappointed. Evening. Good evening. That dumb tanuki made off with my own agiri. I was so looking forward to it, too. What's this? Why is this here now? Neutralizer. Okay, it must be for poison. Let me put this on. Let's get some levels in. Send him off. Chat seems disappointed, too. She's a fashion designer and, like, the other daughter, I don't know. Usually when you can't date a girl, they make it very obvious because she's either way too old or way too young. But she didn't look like- she looked like she could be mari marriageable. Bleh. Marriageable? Marriable? Marriageable is correct, right? Okay, that takes care of you. I'm almost at level four. Over here. Oh, right, the bugs. Hit you. Can't date Shino either. Uh, who was who was Shino again? Excellent. Pick this up. Well, Robin in Stardew Valley was already married, so that's different. Evelyn doesn't seem to have a husband, does she? Hang on. My brain immediately forgot. Who is Shino? The mom? Oh, yeah, the mom. Her. Yeah, I didn't think I could marry her. Can't marry any of the moms. Hmm. Oh, it's late and everyone's gone. That dumb Tanuki made off. Hang on, who's that over there? Oh, it's Sakia. Evening. evening. Good evening. Oh yeah, that stupid Tanuki. I pulled an all-nighter getting my travel plans together and that jerk face ruined everything. The gull! The gumption. It almost sliced me up like a honey-baked ham to boot. Okay. Excellent. I didn't mean to hit that. I should just go water my stuff and call it a night. I got good money. Good, good money. Hang on. This is a Moomin farm. Moomin farms are nice. Uh, weird interface still. Hang on. Okay, let's plant the stuff. Skill adds to everything. The higher your skill, the less rune points you use, right? Okay. Okay, put that there. I guess I can pick up some more random grass. Yeah, let's do that. Oopsie. You can sell it. Hold up a sec. Let me get a drink, you right. Rain is very cozy. There isn't really much of a rain effect on screen, though. I guess they didn't want it to look annoying. Oh. What am I doing? I could have put that away. It is really nice that you can actually find seeds while harvesting grass. That's a good way to do things. It encourages people to do this. Hang on, I should stretch as well? You're right. You're right. Stretching is good for the body. I need to get a bit more active myself. 
Like, uh, this summer was good. I did get out to the walking trails a bit more, but, um... We also had, a, like, a lot of, like, rainstorms and bad rainy days, so I just couldn't go for a while. Trying to reset, like, my physical activity after I had my injury la uh, during spring has been, like, brutal. Once you have to, like, stop, like, working out for... Because of stuff like that, you just... It's so hard to get back into it. Okay, it's midnight. I should go to bed. Make a save. Here we go. Yes. Oh, well. Cozy fun streams are nice, too. But yeah, I am gonna play Rune Factory 3 all the way through if I can. Especially since... I can see why people are saying that this is the the one where the game series gets really good, because I can already see, like, some small adjustments that are better. Menuing is still weird, though. Hang on. Mika? Hey, Shara. Something up? I wanted to let you know that the first spring festival is coming up tomorrow. A festival? That's right. The Bean Toss Contest. Bean Toss? What kind of festival is that? Well, to put it simply, it's a really fun festival where a lucky few dress up as demons and then everyone tosses beans at them. Okay, that was way off of what I was gonna say, <laughs> of what I predicted earlier. <laughs> Get beans, <laughs> yeah. W what is this? Uh, you put on a demon costume and everyone just yeets beans at you. <laughs> Okay. Okay, this is an actual thing. Um, citation needed. I'm gonna need to know. The demons compete to see who can get hit by the most beans to determine who's the best demon of all. <laughs> beans, demons, that sounds strange. You think so? I've done it for as long as I can remember, so I've never really thought about it. How can I participate? My grandpa will be waiting in the plaza of the day of the festival, so just talk with him to register. This is a real Japanese, like, holiday? Huh. Okay. He'll explain the rules of the festival starting the day before all the way up till it starts. It's called Setsubun. So if you ever want to know the particulars about an upcoming festival, just have a chat with my grandpa. Got it. <laughs> Hope you'll join us tomorrow. I bet you'd make a great demon. Thanks, I think. I'll be there tomorrow for sure. Okay. Weird. No quest. Okay. Maybe I should check the bulletin board first thing. I could most definitely not use someone's help. High reward. Okay, let's try this. Was it this house? No, that's the blacksmith. Um... Who's over there? What refreshing weather we're having today. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, yes, I ought to get ready for the bean tossed contest tomorrow. You know, the beans I throw never seem to go where I want them to. They always end up hitting guys somehow. It's quite baffling. Okay. Where are you at? You sleeping? Wake up. Can't talk to him. He's sleeping. Nope. The next setsu button is February 3rd. Okay. Can't go in here. Well, I gotta wait for everyone to wake up. Oh, hey, there's Raven. Morning. Morning! Don't talk to me. Tomorrow's the bean toss contest. Huh? I suppose there's nothing more to be said. Huh? She's just shy. Do you think Raven will open up to me if I give her, like, random un unwanted gifts for every day? So this is a lake, not the ocean? Seemed to imply that, but... Oh, she walked by. Good morning! Good morning! The 6th of spring looms. The annual bean toss contest is almost here. If a stranger walked in and saw the festival, I bet you think we're all out of our minds. Hmm. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh yeah. It's near time for the bean toss contest. My competitive side can no longer be contained. I'm so pumped I can hardly sleep at night. 
Someone's excited, huh? Oh yeah, what, you aren't? I'm not the only one getting worked up over this, am I? Come on, festivals are made for letting loose and having a blast. Oh yeah. You have time for the bean toss contest? Can I buy that fishing rod from you or something? That's one big anchor. It's huge, right? Sailor gave it to me way back. Kind of a badge of honor. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you. Morning. 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 Oh, hey, tomorrow's the bean toss contest. I can bean with the best of them, but getting beaned? I, <laughs> I think I'll pass. Chat. How much money would it take for you guys to get beaned in the bean contest? I don't know. It costs a lot to get beaned. Whoa, they hate each other. Morning. 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 Tomorrow's the bean toss contest, but it's less a strict competition and more of a show of spirit, we'll say. All right, now where'd I put those beans I bought to practice? No big deal, she says, before divulging her explicit intention to train for it. Gremlin? Morning. Good morning. Hmm. The bean toss contest is almost here. I love throwing beans around like poink. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. Good morning. It's almost time for the bean toss contest again. I al it's always a stoic festival. Everybody's crossing paths here. Oh. Hmm. Oh, there you are. My, what intemperate weather we're having today. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I saw your post on the message board. Oh. Ah, Mika, I'm glad you're here. You see, I find myself in the grip of a mild craving for seafood gratin. <sighs> I should have known. Hmm. But to cook seafood gratin, I wouldn't need not only a pot, but also a fire source to heat it. And that got me thinking... As long as we're at it, wouldn't an even smaller flame help me cook even more food in even less time? I don't think that's how it works. What's that? Why, yes, Mika, I am onto something, and that's why. I would be furious if you were to collect nine pieces of lumber for me. But you don't have any lumber, you say? Always fear, my boy. I hold right here in my hands an axe and... Okay, so continuing to do the quest will give me, like, my remaining stuff I need. It's no longer yours. Sherman sho shoved a cheap axe into your hands. Wow, forceful. If you use this axe to chop branches, you'll get lumber. Makes sense. And should you happen to accidentally lose said axe, not to worry. They aren't for sale at the weapon shop. Aha, uh -huh, so they are for sale. Voila, you have everything you need. To not chop every branch you see. Gotcha, chop a lot of branches. Also, a rather boring note, it isn't possible to throw items to another person. But please be careless. Someone else could get in the way and accidentally catch it instead. If that happens, they won't mistake it as a present for them and keep it. Oh. And there you have it. I have low hopes, Mika. <laughs> Um, thanks. I'll do my best. Oh boy. Be afraid. I have an axe now. <laughs> I'm just imagining people dressing up like demons and just everyone's yeeting beans at them now. What am I doing? Okay. I'm gonna have to water my stuff. Oh, I gotta pick up the lumber? Dude. That's an annoying thing. Oopsie. Come on. No. Oh, boy. Is this something they expected you to use the DS stylus for, huh? I don't think so. Nope. gonna have to get used to the button movements here for this. Excellent. Oh, I can pick up two at once? Okay. They're close by, it seems. Hmm. 
Alrighty then. I definitely got more than enough for him now. Let me go ahead and pick up... Take the pink turnips. We'll sell them. Karina should be... Was it Karina? Oh, hey, one of those. Let me go ahead and also just water stuff first. Nope, wrong thing. Hang on. Yeah, I can use R button to walk instead of, like, run. So that's handy if I want to, like, position myself better. Hang on. Let's water these. There's definitely, like, some mechanics now that, like are more, like, easier to use, but, like, the, the button combinations feel a little bit unintuitive on the Pro Controller, so... I'll just have to get used to it a little bit. Oh, hang on. The toy herbs are done? Oh, they are. Okay. Um... Let me go ahead and ship these. I could probably use these as gifts. I'm gonna sell some of this grass now. You wanted nine things of lumber because it's a full stack. I don't know if I need lumber for anything else yet. Yeah, that should do it. Let's go find them. Where are we at? Oh, hang on. I can see people on the map here. Um, it just now occurred to me that this map I see in the corner. That's supposed to be the bottom screen on DS, isn't it? Looks like they're inside, maybe? They're not around. There we go. Yep. I don't remember there being that detailed a map for two. Oh yes, I had to get ready for the bean toss contest. What about you? Hello. Hello? In case you didn't know, tomorrow's the bean toss contest. I know the beans don't hurt, but it's still a little scary to think about getting pelted. Sounds like they're having an unpleasant conversation. What's Raven doing by the forest? Hello. Tomorrow's the bean tossed. Huh? Nothing more to be said. No, nope, she doesn't want to talk to me right now. So I can't see when people are, like, inside their houses at the Hello. moment, it feels. Hello! 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 <laughs> we have the bean toss contest coming up tomorrow! We had this festival back in my homeland as well, so I can't help looking forward to it every year. Hmm. Good old farming game where every character in town talks obsessively talks about the same thing. I know. Isn't it great? Okay, no one's in the square. I know that talking to people during festival days increases their friendship a crap ton. It was absolutely busted in Rune Factory 1. Like, you barely had to try to max out people's, um, friendship, like, at all. Uh... Oh. you again. Gorgeous weather today. Hello. The bean toss contest is coming up tomorrow. Wonder how many beans I can stuff down. You know, it's not an eating contest, right? Can you guess what her character personality is? She likes food! Ha ha ha! Nice day out, huh? I bet a quick shot would make it even nicer. Girl, calm down. <laughs> this girl, like, you're gonna be, like, have your back turned, and she's gonna be creeping up behind you with a syringe. And she's gonna be like, don't worry. It's for your own safety. Hello. Hello. What's the problem? Yes, the bean toss contest is tomorrow. Whoever invented the festival deserves the genius medal. You're expecting something from this. Do I dare ask what? Uh-oh. Does she think getting beaned on is, like, something she can cure? I'ma take a chance. Wait. Uh... How do I sort these into one? Okay, that's how I do it. This is a little bit cumbersome, but probably better this way. Can I give you flowers? A present for me? Thanks, I'll be sure to use it in an upcoming experiment. Wait, did I just restore her health by three? There's a flowing there's a glowing green three above her head. Though if you brought me green vegetables, those would I would gladly snack on. They're yummy. 
Okay, green vegetables for her. Excellent. I'm giving people stuff. Listen, I haven't totally picked a favorite. Um... You see here... Oh, people can join and fight with me. That's why that's there. Hang on, let me see if I can get something from here. Another cabbage, maybe? No, it doesn't look like there's anything yet. No, this is fun. I'm having a good time. Oh, found a toy herb here. Okay. Like I said, like, a reason I wanted to start these, these playthroughs up again is because they're fun to do once in a while. And if I just do, like, massive long VODs for the, uh, to get uploaded to the channel, I think that'll work out pretty nicely. It's almost time for the bean toss. I always, I was a stoic. Ah, oh, yeah, that, that thing. Oh, right. I didn't give him his thing yet. I should go do that. Nice. I am excited to see how, like, this one definitely improves on the other two. One is a good game, but, like, the farming mechanics are super unnecessary in that one. It's basically just a generic fantasy game. The second one tries to do other things, but, like, some of it turns into a long grind towards the end, and it's not very fun. Good location and character designs, though. That is what I like about this series. Okay. And I put off playing 3 for a while, but uh, once they announced that it's getting a re-release on Switch, obviously it was better to wait for that. Oh yes, I had to get ready for the bean toss. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So... Where is he? Oh, he's at the top. See him now. There you are. Uh, okay, hang on. Have some stack of lumber. Woohoo! This is in no way the nine lumber I asked for. Excellent, excellent! You are just the worst! Now I have everything I need to not eat seafood gratin. Are you really cursed, or are you just, like, very sassy and sarcastic? Um, good for you. Here, this isn't much, but I hope you dislike it. Thank you. It is for me, right? Yes, it isn't. Um, you got 3,000 G. I'll be sure not to ask for your help again. Uh-huh, sure. Request complete. Okay. Wonder if I should have a bath. Ah, oh, there you are. Yawn. Evening. So, like... Yeah, she does have, a, like, uh, a little dress skirt thing that disappears when she has, like, the mermaid legs, or... No, mermaid tail? That they're not legs anymore. Welcome to the Paradise Bathhouse. Uh, I'd like a bath, but we can chat. Tomorrow's the Bean Tossed Contest. Sakia and Shino are, like, obsessed with it, but I have to get out there and do my best, too. Okay. X and Y remove the text box. Or X button does. I want to take a bath. That'll be 300 G. Yeah, sure. Well, so far I do kind of did kind of like the designs of like Pia and uh, Marine. Not Mar Marine. Uh, Marion. I forgot her name already. Bad sign, fellas. I was thinking about Evelyn, but um, you can't marry her apparently. Ah, uh, there's nothing like a hot bath. Honestly. Evening. Evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hey. Oh yeah, now I'm getting all fired up. You ready, Mika? You bet. You bet we're getting bean tomorrow. <laughs> Good to hear. I'm always on the hunt for new prey. Okay, settle down. That's a weird way to say that. Excellent. And back here was what? Can I get it, steal another squid from her and gift it back? What's a squid doing here? Okay, nothing else there. Okay. Was there someone else there? Oh, it's her. Good evening. Another day is almost done and somehow I didn't die of exhaustion. Good girl, calm down. 
The bean tossed contest is coming. You don't look too happy about it. Yeah. At least I'll get a good nap after I tire myself out. Okay then. Oh, it's the artist girl. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, I just realized how long her hair actually is. I didn't realize those things... Yeah, uh, those things were like little ties. They go down to her waist. Extra long hair. Tomorrow, sidekick, the Bean Toss Contest. And I'm tasking you with painting the beans one by one so we can do the rainbow thing style. Ooh, do this thing rainbow style. I really doubt that's necessary. Excellent. Oh, that was a bird. I thought that was an item. Okay. Yeah, let me get a drink. <laughs> Sorry, I get wrapped up in reading dialogue so much, I miss a bit, little bit of chat. I hope I didn't miss any subs, did I? And you know what? Just to be safe, I'm gonna pull up the thing and, s and see if I did. Okay. Oh no, I think I'm good. We're good. Excellent. Okay. Also, a reminder, guys, we still have sub goals going on. We're very close to meeting our first goal. There she is again. Excellent. Yes, the bean toss contest tomorrow. Same thing. Hmm. I don't know. I also kind of like Raven. To be honest, like, Raven is, like, um, pretty much, like, the kind of girl I'd like when I was 15. For anime waifus, that is. She's mean. And expressionless, but she's probably cool on the inside. Yeah, generic Sundere. Although I don't know much about her right now, I just know she doesn't like me. I just know that when I talk, she's like, shut up. Go away. I'm not stacking them again. I'm picking them up one by one like a chump. Hang on. Um... Let me plant the stuff I've been picking up. Uh, equip. This is some weird nighttime music. Excellent. Hmm. Reminds you of Shauna from Shakugan no Shauna. Yeah, I can see that. Oop. Okay, now. Go back to this. And... Now let's plant more seeds. Uh... There we go. Hang on, did I find the shortcut finally? Oh my god, I did. Fine. There we go. It only took me almost three hours. Okay, if you press... You don't hold the button in this game. You have to kind of just, like, tap them, it feels like. There we go. A way that lets me menu slightly faster, because this game is weird about that. Uh, I could use the sickle. Let's see here. Hang on. The box lets you organize things? I tried that, though, didn't I? Like... This doesn't let me access my bag to put stuff in there directly. It just shows me the stuff I already put in. Did I attack the box? Oh, no. Okay. I can't seem to do that now. Unless that's something you have to unlock. Oopsie. Almost 11 p.m. We're out picking in the fields. Penny shock. I don't think there's any bears in this game. There's little friends with wool on them. Might be just be a four thing. Possibly, yeah. It does seem weird that they didn't import as much quality of life features from, uh, 4 and 5 into this game. Did they, like, import anything? Or is this just straight up just, like, a remaster visually? Hang on. Oopsie. Okay, pick that up there. Okay, turn up seeds, equip. Now it's 12 a.m. Everything seems to be untouched gameplay-wise. Okay. Excellent. I guess that's to be expected. Oh, more of this. 
Okay, I'm just gonna plant another one of the seeds I picked up. I guess I have to water that one now, because the rain stopped. Hang on. Or do I? No, it still counts as wet soil. Okay, that's fine. We gotta go to bed now, because you know why? Tomorrow's the bean toss contest. Ah, stop crying. It's 1 a.m. We've been up later. Saving. I'm good for now. Time to call it a day. Yeah, let's get some sleep. Yeah, this is the special version. It just came out for Switch. Time to give it my all. I have a physical copy of all the the first three on DS, but um, I never actually played three. I got it for dirt cheap when it was like in a GameStop used. But like, if you look online now, a lot of physical DS games are just absurdly expensive. Hang on. Let's go ahead and do this. More seeds. It's time to get beamed, everybody. Come on. Pick it up. A ghost? Wait, did that attack me? I took one damage from that. Unbelievable. Okay. Everyone's excited for Good beans. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today's the bean toss contest. Registration will be held in the plaza at 9 a.m. If you'd like to participate, don't be late. It's a little early, but do you want me to review the rules? Sure. These are the rules for the bean toss contest. The gist of the festival is that everyone throws beans to drive away a demon. Yumika will play the demon. Give the roll the best you got and get hit by as many beans as you can. Getting hit by green beans will earn you points, while getting hit by brown beans will earn you more. The more beans that hit you in a row, the faster your score will multiply. However, if a failed dish hits you, your score will be reduced to zero. Well, who's throwing that then? Do your best to avoid. That is all. If you wish to review the rules, feel free to ask me. Okay. Good morning. Let's talk to people before we start. Good morning. All right, the bean toss contest. I love to exercise. Unlike my daughter, the perpetual lawn ornament. Holy moly, settle down. Hey, Raven, what's up? Morning. Good morning. Don't talk to me. I'm rather excited. She's excited to pelt me with beans. Does this mean our relationship has improved? I mean, she never outright said that, but you never know. Huh? This whole festival feels like a let's mess with the new guy thing. <laughs> it does. Doesn't it? I'm so excited to pelt you with beans. That's the most romantic thing anyone's ever implied to me. There we go. Morning. 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 The bean toss contest makes my arms cramp up. Too much work. And why not skip it? Maybe I should, but it's easier than actual work. Make a save right here, just in case I do something wrong. Is Art Girl here? No. Oh, wait, no, she's in the corner. Some of these guys blend in, I swear. Welcome to the Rainbow huh? Studio. Didn't mean to talk to that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The bean toss contest is upon us. <laughs> My throwing arm is ready to rumble. Just listen to it. Rumble, 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 it says. Lots of blondes in this game. Hang on, I should get to the festival. Gorgeous weather today. Morning. Good morning. We've got the bean toss contest today. To commemorate the occasion, I'm gonna eat so many beans when it's over. I've said the word bean too many times. Ooh, I almost didn't notice you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> bean tossing is harder than you might think. Now, if we were flinging, say, needles, then I'm confident I could hit any target dead center. Settle down there, girl. Remind me to stand far, far away from you at the festival. <laughs> 
There's you all. Morning. This is some great weather we're having. Morning. Good morning. You're a regular goody two-shoes, Mika. I can't imagine there's anything in that noggin of yours that needs cleansing from the bean toss. That's nice of you to say. I'm sure it's the same for you. Afraid not. I'm practically fit to burst with evil thoughts right now, excuse me? Huh? Y you okay, girl? Huh? And I'm officially terrified. Why is it that every girl in this town either gives me the vibe that, like, they're dumb and lazy, or they want to murder me in my sleep? <laughs> the sun is shining and the fishies are happy about it, too. Good morning. Good morning. Sakia told me all about uh, how getting hit with beans is supposed to purge all your evil thoughts and bring you good for fortune. She also said we'd be raking in the dough and all that good luck, so I have to bring my A game. Sounds like she could stand to get hit by a bean or two. Oh boy. Wait for him to- for it to be nine. Okay, here he goes. Registration's currently open for the bean toss contest. Do you want to participate? I'll participate. You do? You're now registered. Let's begin. These are the rules for the Bean Toss Contest. The gist of the festival is that everyone throws beans to drive away the demon. You, Mika, will play the demon. Give the roll the best you got and get hit by as many beans as you can. Getting hit by green beans will earn you points. Brown beans, blah, 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 same thing. Failed dish hits you. Score will be reduced to zero. Check the upper right corner of the screen. See how many points you have. Without further ado, let's start the Bean Toss. Begin. Oh. No. It's ri they're really tiny and blended in with almost the um the confetti. Darn it. Darn it. Nope. Score goes to Oh my god, get hit by him. What is my hitbox? Okay. Oh, they're so tiny! Come on! Dude! No! Oh, that's lame. Time's up. Results are in. Winner of this year's Bean Toss is... Carmen, with a grand total of 63, 96 points. Oh, yeah. Yes, a victory is mine. Rusk takes second place with 4,750, and third place we had Shino with 3,640. That was a great effort, everyone. Be sure to keep practicing. Don't forget to take your prize home with you. Until next time. I got a prize? Cooking bread. Okay. Did I even get anything for a good score? They didn't seem to care about me. Good morning. Lovely weather today, isn't good it? Good morning. <laughs> they say that losing can be a learning experience, too. My I'm not just saying that because I'm sore about not winning today, of course. I can see where your daughter gets it from. I'd say everyone did a rather spectacular job of getting pelted. Okay. I got a bad score. Okay. It's really... Those things are really tiny. And my hitbox is deceptive for that, okay? And the failed dish is large. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All the best for next year's festival as well, Mika. Hmm. Do I even get anything for getting beamed enough? Good morning. Well, hello there, Mika. Today's the perfect weather for a midday nap, hmm? Good morning. Good morning. Another year, no major injuries. For that, I'm truly grateful. Oh, I'm sure my granddaughter's disappointed. <laughs> Don't. Uh, Colette, what are you doing? What, me? I was just admiring those beautiful beans. Okay. I've tried it like 30 times and still got last place. Those beans are rough. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to do reset to do it over and over. Hmm, I can add a dash of that while I'm at it. Maybe a sprig of that special herb I uh, mixed with my latest concoction would give it the kick it needs to truly shine. 
Are we sure you're making beams? Okay. Talking to people... Why are you hanging out here, NPC? You're just getting your start. I recommend trying out many kinds of weapons. See what works best for you. <laughs> they all have festival after festival dialogue. And yet again, no matter what I tried, all of my beans hit Gaius. I'm so baffled. The poor man. He must be possessed by some incredible demon for my beans to seek him out so magnetically. <laughs> you know, there might be at least a kernel of truth to that. Hang on. Unpleasant day to you. An unpleasant day My, what intemperate weather we're having. I worked up quite a sweat today. Good thing, too, as I never get chided that I need more exercise. Ooh. Treat myself. I won't eat an even bigger dinner than usual. Okay, then. Hello. Hello. Hmm. No fair. Grandpa didn't let me throw very many beans. How extra, extra, ultra, extra turbo boring. I'm gonna use that as an insult sometimes. I'm stealing that from the gremlin. What is your name again? I don't even remember. I just remember you as small girl that wants to bite things. It's Monica. What a lovely day we're having. I'm sure the flowers are happy to soak up all this wonderful sh sunshine. Hello. Hello. Ooh, I hurt in places I didn't even know I could hurt. Okay. Hey there. Oh, couldn't ask for better weather, huh? Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, that concludes this year's bean toss. I must have pushed myself a little too hard, because oof, I'm already feeling sore. Hey there. Great day out there, huh? Uh, couldn't ask for better weather for fishing out on the lake. Oh. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, I win. She did win. She's being spicy and saucy about it. Hang on, where else is everyone? Um... Can I talk to you after yet? Oh, I ache all over. Are you okay? I've heard of suffering for the art, but you really took a pelting. Just a little sore, but my sores are practically everywhere. Massage my shoulders, sidekick. Settle down. I'll have to give you a rain check on that. Oh, come on. Don't be backing out, boy. Come on. Thank the sub there, friend. <laughs> there we are. No initiative there, Mika. Oh. Hang on. Hello. Wait, you know, I'm starting to sound like phrasing it a little creepy there, aren't I? <laughs> Oops. Let's talk to Raven. Next year. Already plotting your revenge? <laughs> Next year, she's gonna... Is she talking about beating Carmen, or is she talking about hitting me with more beans? about you? I should be sleeping. What horrendous weather we're having today. Hello. Hello. Evelyn says that she can, quote, see her target's weak spot when she throws her needles. I'm glad she remembered this is not an event for tossing needles and didn't actually break out something or so dangerous. Wouldn't it have been hilarious if she had? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. Evelyn just yeets out a freaking needle, it stabs me in the forehead, and BAM! It's funny to you, but it's not really, because she's... It's... It, she's talking backwards. Okay. No, our girl's not the witch girl. He got Big Apple. Have I spoken to everyone yet? Um... Talk to Carmen and all that. I got my festival affection increased. I talked to Rusk today. Hi. Hey. 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 Hello. Hello. I'm glad everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. We appreciate it. Hey, so here's Sakia. Beans. Huh? Where? I left them on the ground. <laughs> Same thing. Let me know if you find any beans on the ground, Pia. Those things have the power to drive away demons, and they're packed full of good luck. Got it. We're gonna make a killing. You know it. We'll finally pull ourselves out of the red. Right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay, I get it. We're in dire straits. Is everything okay with those two? Is that why they really, really wanted me to stay the night or have, like, um, a bath that one time? 
don't think I can do a request right now. No. Nope. Got my hands full. Looking for someone who can go mine iron. Okay, he's probably gonna give me a hammer. Can't do that today, though, probably. Okay, no fun getting sealed when you're out exploring. You'll be unable to use skills. Any adventurer worth their salt knows to keep a healthy supply of round off on hand. Hang on. Don't think I can talk to him today, because it's a festival, but maybe they changed that for this. No, everyone just went back to work? Wait! Oh, they don't... They don't stop, um... They don't seal off uh, you doing things on festival days? Oh, that is such a good change. Remember in the first two games, if it's a festival, you literally can't do anything except talk to everyone. Oh, I'm glad they changed that. About that request you put up. Yeah. yeah, you saw it. Good. I'm about to run out of materials, but I don't have the time to go get any, any myself. Sorry to impose, but would you be a pal and get me some iron? You bet. If you're going to mine ore, you'll need a hammer. Here, use mine. Huh? Really? I can take this? Yeah. yeah, go find some of those roundish rocks that look really, uh, really look the part and give them a thwack with that. They'll drop ore and gemstones and stuff. <laughs> rocks that look the part, you say. Okay. Don't worry about it too much. Any hammer will get you stuff from them. Doesn't have to be a mining hammer in particular. Huh, okay. Oh, and if you somehow lose the one you got, uh, we've got a full stock of new ones at the shop. Thank you. Good to know. You'll have to pay standard retail price, though. Sorry. So I'd have to buy it. Gotcha. I'll leave you to it, then. Funny hammer. It's a mess in here. Can't be helped. I always end up with leftover stuff when working on an order. You're making a mess again, Gaius. Hi. What? Yes. Next year. Ah, oh, same stuff. No problem. No bean stuff. Okay. Look how, like, crusty that rock looks. Oopsie. Gonna check the thing. Okay. Looking for rocks. Ah, these things. Okay, but these guys are in the way. They'll probably, like, murder me in one hit, though. Scrap metal. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe not safe to farm there. Okay, this should be good. Never mind. Hang on, did he want one iron or multiple? Are those more art pieces by Daria out here? Oh, that hit hard, yeah. Okay. What difficulty am I on? Well, there was no difficulty selection when I turned the game on, so... I don't know how you access that. She hissed at me! She literally hissed at me when I walked by her. Hang on, let me just see if I can give him this. Where is it? Iron. Thanks. Whoa, thanks. Hey, okay, it was just the one. Raven's here. Thanks, Mika. I can keep on forging now that I got this. Huh? Wait, don't tell me you've been working this whole time. Yeah. Pretty much, if I put my hammer down, I'll probably keel right over and fall asleep. <laughs> Oh, come on. I know you're tired, but don't exaggerate. Anyway, now that you were kind enough to bring this, I can keep on going for a good while. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Now let me think of something to give you in return. You deserve a, re uh, deserve a reward. Huh? Wait, the battle tutorial gives a difficulty option by saying whether or not it was too easy or something. How is that supposed to be a difficulty selection? That's a little too vague for that. What did I, what did I even pick? I don't remember. How about that hammer? What, this? His is old. A newer one would be easier to use. Give him that. Huh? Huh? 
No way, that's too much. I couldn't. Good idea. Here, take this. Huh? Why do I suddenly feel woozy? Gaius? It's okay, he's just asleep. But he keeled right over. Don't tell me it was really because he let go of his hammer. He gets like that when he focuses too hard on work. I always make sure to give him just enough materials so they run right out around the time he needs rest. Shoot. Then when I went and got more for him... Sorry. Sorry. Not your fault. Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. Here, I'll give this back. Are you sure? Yeah, I already got my reward earlier. I see. Quest complete. Whoa. Whoa, I smacked Mika and iron popped out. No, it most certainly did not. I'll carry guys. Sorry about that. Oh boy. Hang on, there's a second ladder in the house that effect that shows that. Let me check. The tutorial was a little bit handholdy, but it feels like there's things I've just completely missed. Wait, don't do not do both of these not lead to the thing? Oh. What's all this? Interesting room. Dear. Oh, there you are. What is this place? This is the, the hollow trophy room. If you do certain things, you receive trophies to put on the shelves here. Certain things, huh? Do you have an example? That's a good question, but I'm afraid I don't know the answer. Try a little bit of everything and see what happens. Really? Try everything. Got it. That room back there is the gateway to a mysterious world. It's not open to you yet, but you can use it to go on adventures. Here you can make it so everyone wears their swimsuits all the time. Okay! Yes, even in winter. Oh, but Grandpa doesn't have a swimsuit, so he won't join in. Too bad for him. What else? Let me see. Oh, you can change the difficulty level using the book over there. No, 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 go back. <laughs> go back. What, what did you say before that? <laughs> anyway, we got Gateway to Mysterious World, a switch that put all girls in their swimsuits. Oh, you can change the difficulty over here. Change difficulty level using that book over there. If you're finding battles too easy, try setting the difficulty level to hard. Just don't take things too lightly. I think that covers everything. Thank you. Got it. Thanks for the explanation. See you later. Now, I did get the deluxe version of this. I assume it came with some, some of that stuff. Your shipments will spread smiles wherever they go. Don't forget that. So these are my Chivos right here. First request complete. It feels wonderful to help others. First bath taken. Current difficulty level normal. Select normal difficulty for a regular experience. Hard difficulty for a greater challenge. And hell for the greatest challenge. I feel like those bugs were already messing me up. So... I, I guess I'm fine on normal. Unless it gets really stu stupid easy. Because I haven't been able to buy equipment yet. Enable swimsuit mode. See, this is how I'm going to get y'all to come back for the second episode. I won't activate it this stream, but maybe I will next time, so you better keep watching. Make it a sub-incentive. <laughs> hey. What's up? Hey! Hello! Hello! Yeah. Every year, it somehow slips my mind that you're supposed to let the beans hit you for this festival. Now, if they threw lumps of iron ore, then we'd be talking. Cool. New nightmare. <laughs> New nightmare material. Thanks, Gaius. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, see, if I make it a sub-incentive, I can blame chat for it. And then the streamer doesn't look weird turning that on. Oh, hey, our girl. Ugh. I ache all over. You okay? I've heard of suffering for the art, but you took a pelting. Oh, it's that again. Okay. I already spoken to her. Um, looks like I got some more money from the stuff I did that. Save for the content. Next time. There we go. 
Um, what else do I need right now? Ah, fishing. No more. Oh, right, one per day. That's right. I'll have to do it tomorrow. Save for the content. We, we being economical here. Um, I guess I've gotten everyone's festival dialogue. What is, like... Let me see here. Oh, everyone likes me. Looks like festival affection is still kind of busted. Just, oh, I didn't talk to Blaze today? Well, I've barely spoken to him, period. Oh, Dari is down here? Oh! I thought it ordered them, so... Okay, I guess there's one more girl to meet then. Excellent. Um, I could go get some levels by hitting things. Chat, do you want to see me bully sheep again? There's no sheep right here. There's an apple thing. Pom pom. Yeah, get him. Get him! Oh, he dies right away, huh? There it is! Get him! He's defenseless! Take him out! Yeah, that'll teach ya. Oh, nice. That one broke a lot more quickly. There we go. Uh-oh. That's a big beetle there. Okay. So these things do die quickly. If you set things to hard mode, do you get more EXP for killing things? I feel like that would balance it out and I just grow more quickly. Oh boy, these again. I'm doing a lot less damage to this thing. Yeah. Oh, apples. Oh, hang on, I can't pick up more? Ooh. Crap. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna want some more levels before I slaughter these things. Here you. Combat already feels immensely better, but I've barely gotten to do much of it. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm almost to level 5. I may as well get that. Got this. Take it with me. I've had a bath today. Okay. Wait, what? Flippers. Why are those there? Is that a tool? Huh. Could also sell it for like 500, but whatever. Oh, well, no big deal. It's a rare woolly drop. Ooh, okay. Get the woolly! Hey, that one's a different color. Wait, is the orange one the strong one? Because this thing took forever to die. Oh, never mind. Earth crystal. That's not bad. Come here. Ah, oh, damn it. Get the woolly. Okay, there's a level up. Level ups don't instantly restore my rune points and HP anymore. Oh, take that. Okay, we should head back. Uh, the bathhouse closes at 10 p.m., doesn't it? See, I can't do that. Hmm. Should I hop down here? Probably should plant some more stuff, to be honest. Hang on. Hang on. I'm not... Yeah, I need to learn how to use the buttons better. It's still weird. It's wonky to get used to the to menuing in this game. I almost feel like it was way more intuitive when I mapped things on my Xbox controller when I played 1 and 2. I mean, yes, I use an Xbox controller for DS games. Of course I do. Of course I do. Hmm. Plant this. Oh, I'm dying. Crap. Let me just eat this. And this. I gotta plant these, though. They gotta grow. Okay, take that. I'm glad to see y'all are enjoying this, too. 
It does feel really nice to be back to some farm stuff again. Let's see. Again, this isn't going to be like a thing I go to play like every single day, but as you get into games like these, they're good to just, you know, save for once in a while. Okay, one more. That'll do. Um, sell the scrap metal. Uh, I could probably use this as like a gift or something. Use that there. Rune Factory 4 is originally a 3DS game, but it is on Switch and I do own it. I do hope that um they update the controls a little bit for that port, but who knows. Hang on. Okay. Let's head to bed now. That should do it for me. How long have I been going? Ooh, three and a half hours. Cool. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's do it. And head to bed. Time to call it a day. Chat loves farm time. Yeah. It doesn't... Like, these games don't do... As super great as other stuff, but, you know, they do have people that really, really love them in my audience. And I appreciate y'all. As long as it can be comfy. Hang on. Uh, quest for Carmen. Take that. I'll, I'll, I'll turn on the swimsuit mode next time. Look at that run. Again, if you want to see that, you'll have to watch the next episode, because ha ha ha! Extra couple views right there. Morning. Good morning. It's totally the season for squid. Good fish, good food, happy baby sister. What more could I possibly ask for? <laughs> now if I could just find a sweet somebody to be by my side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never mind, it's nothing. Forget I said anything. Ha 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 ha. So funny. Okay. Now is Carmen already awake? As I require her to teach me to fish. It's over here. Oh. Okay, they got their own little private fishing spot I can go into. That's cool. Hmm. She's not here. I really should have just checked the map outside. Oh, she's over on the right that side of town. There's also Raven. Hi, Raven. Morning. Morning. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I find that very amusing. Also, is, does anyone else find it kind of weird? Like, the Rune Factory art style is really nice. Like, I love the art style a lot. But I notice that, like, like some characters like Raven, they just have, like, empty eyes. They don't have, like, anything in the dead center, so they look, like, really empty looking. Like, Mika has some right there. But she's just got nothing. It's just blue there. Chara's family. Family's flowers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're really pretty. Yeah. Flowers reflect the heart of the grower. Huh? <gasps> did she just... Did she just be nice to me? It's fine. Nothing. Makes them look more intimidating. What about Bath Girl? Hey. Morning. Here we go. Ooh, there's something unsettling about how cloudy it's getting. Is it gonna rain or not? Good morning. Good morning. Hey. hey, good. You're here sooner than I expected. I admire your enthusiasm. So, what do you need help with? <laughs> Hmm. Ahem. Didn't you read the request? Starting today, I'm your master. Okay. She's gonna be one of those types of characters then, isn't aren't isn't she? Okay, I'm not sure I follow, but I'll roll with it for now. Hey now. It's important to set the proper tone first. Jeez, people these days do not get it. Mumble, grumble. Anyway, I'll let it slide for now. We've got bigger fish to fry. Passing down the essence of true fishing is a tall order, after all. Huh? The essence of true fishing. Ready? Good. Here we go. First, the fishing hole. If you see fish-shaped shadows in the water... Oh, I have to watch for shadows in this game? I thought that was just aesthetic. There are fish to be caught. Not every pond or puddle is going to have a fish, so don't try to catch things where there isn't. Okay, it's just an indicator of where I can do it, then. Hmm. Oh, and just between you and me, I've heard tell that you can sometimes find fish in sand as well. Really? 
What? Fish and sand? Fish and sand, but that's all you're getting out of me. You'll have to discover him discover him yourself. Aw. Moving right along. Once you've spotted a fish, press B to cast your line towards them. If all goes well, the fish will gather round. They'll poke at your bait for at first. So be patient, just watch and wait. Soon enough, the fateful moment will arrive and the fish will strike. The very instant it grabs your bait, you smash B. Smash it! Smash it good! Uh, you okay? Oh, 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 got a little carried away there. Anyway, that about wraps up the basics. Gotcha. The higher your fishing skill, the more fish you'll be able to reel in. You want to reach those heights? You gotta work for it. Fishing is a test of both patience and endurance. The path to the angler's throne is wrought with thorns and obstacles, but oh, is it a rewarding one to tread? Uh-huh. Today, as your master, I present you with a hand-me-down fishing pole. May it reel in many more fish to come. Treat it well. Those are like... Oh, I just realized she has like, like, bracelet fingerless gloves there. Those are kind of cool. There we are. Got a cheap pole. Now, normally I'd point you to guys to buy your own fishing pole, but I figured I'd make things a little easier for you. Aren't I a generous master? You should be a grateful pupil. So yeah, got any questions? Not in particular. Excellent. Let's get you started. Let's see. One sounds like a good target to start. Reel in one fish you can catch in spring and bring it to me. Hang on a second. Now, I can't really see it in her art, but it looks like on her model, she has like one of those like little tiny like ponytails at like the at the back there. You see what I mean? Yeah, that's definitely her model, not the grass. So I guess, yeah, you can't really see the rest of her hair. It looks like she just has short, complete short hair there. And lucky you, it's spring as we speak. The waters near the resort will be absolutely brimming with spring fish. Alternatively, you can head out to the fishing hole in Prevera Forest. Just keep an eye out for monsters, okay? Got it? Good. Now go. What, now? Yes, now. There's no time like the present. Get going! Shoo! The fish isn't gonna catch itself! Whoa! She just punched me! Whoa. Jeez, you're a strict one. Okay, so I guess we can filter Carmen in the murder me in my sleep category. Get out there and show me your angler spirit. I can't wait to see what you can catch. I could honestly do a whole stream just doing a tier list of who is most likely to kill me. If I marry them. Ahahaha. <laughs> oh boy. No wonder nobody lives here. Can walk this far out. So I don't think I have to physically reach the shadows. The shadows are just there to mark that this location is good to fish in. Or do I have to get the shadows? Let's find out. Oh no, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, the shadows, it's Animal Crossing style. Not sure how I feel about that, but might be good. Oh boy. Hang on, you got other art of Carmen that shows she doesn't have a ponytail. Let me see here. Ah, that art is still from the front. Uh, that's not quite clear. But I got my fish, so let's go give it to her. I'm not fully convinced. Oh, hey, witch girl. Clouds, as far as the eye can see today. The perfect day to sample this potion, I might add. Morning. Morning? You know, I've been wondering for a while, but that's an awfully unique syringe you've got. That's supposed to be a syringe? That looks like the thing Brad tosses Chris and Jill to kill the tyrant in Resident Evil. Huh? Years ago, Colette and I were playing doctor. I stuck her with a toy syringe. Granny noticed and gave me this one, saying I should use it instead. Looking at an official comic right now, we only see her from the front and side, but there's no ponytail in any pan panel. Hang on, I gotta find her and talk to her. And see if, like, I can see the model from the back. Sometimes she'll look at me and shudder. Or sorry. I've had it ever since. I think that was when Colette developed one of her unusual nervous tics. Sometimes she'll look at me with shudder. You used it on her, didn't you? Whoa, she got a hammer! 
are you doing? <laughs> She's like running, making a beeline for me. Those rain clouds rolling in, I sure hope they are. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, yes, yes. Newfound inspiration for a painting has risen to the top of my ideas, Wellspring. What kind of painting are you thinking? It's how to describe it. Think of swirling depths of the night sky melding with brightly colored sewer pipes. There are sewer pipes in this universe? <laughs> I might have to see it for myself. Art sure is a challenge. Why does everyone have to give like this condescending, oh gee, I sure don't get art, guys. I like art. I think it's cool. I hate when protagonists are just like, yeah, I don't get it. You're just quirky and weird. Yeah. Hey, Evelyn. Good Hello, Mika. Feels like it might rain at any minute, doesn't it? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it was only recently that I discovered the true fabulousness of fish. Oh, what did you end up liking? Sashimi? Grilled fish? Yes. Both. They make spectacular outfits. Huh? I, I can't decide. What? Outfits? Okay, then. Um, sorry, where's Carmen at? We need to settle this. Hang on. I don't see her. She's probably at her house. You know what we should do? Not to totally not just as a way for me to get engagement in the comments section. What's your favorite character in this so far, everybody? If you're watching on YouTube, post it down below as well. Because we want to interact. I want to interact with you all. Not because comments are good for the algorithm. Come on! I know all of you can't resist the opportunity to tell everyone what you think best girl is. I know you weeps. Where the hell is she? She's not here. She's probably inside someone else's house. Now, where did I see her before? There's the gremlin. And there we go. Which haven't met that one. Pia, the one who doesn't want to kill you. And I feel like that's a riddle. Running the shop, I see. Hiya. Hiya. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Honestly. Oh, that girl's gonna put me in an early grave. Huh? Did something happen? Better to ask what didn't happen. I asked her to stock the shelves, and she puts out one thing. One, and it was upside down. Holy crap, even as, like, an eight-year-old doing chores, I wasn't that lazy. <laughs> well, I guess she did what you asked, technically. I feel like marrying Karina would be, um, the one most likely to end in divorce. <laughs> like the artist girl? Yeah, she is nice. I did mention the art stuff is cool. I feel like the Pia is gonna drown you. Oh, you might be right about that. She does kind of give that kind of vibe. Hang on. Oh, right. I guess I should probably water this. Maybe Carmen will appear again. Uh, let's go. It says a lot when I can just turn on a game and enjoy it for like this long without getting bored. Especially, my throat is kind of dry. Because I've had to do, like, so much more reading than I expected. But I'm having a good time with this. Ugh. I hope y'all on YouTube will enjoy the idea of this happening sometimes. Every so often now, too. I kind of do that with recruiting in Mystery Dungeon Sky. Because getting 100% in that game takes an eternity. Do I have any extra stuff to sell? Oops. Yeah, I can't use the control stick for that. Of course it rains after I water my stuff. Um, let's find Carmen. I mentioned the idea, like, while playing Let's Go, and a lot of people were very receptive to it. A few people were also disappointed when they when they got to the end of, like, Rune Factory 2's playlist and found it. I kind of just moved on. The grind for that game is such a chore, though. No one blames me. My overworld model looks like a Super Saiyan? Ah, eh, not quite. I get what you mean. Hang on. Oh, everyone's indoors now. Carmen, are you here? I gotta give you a fish. Dude, she didn't go home. Where is everybody? Oh, there you are. Hold on. The back of her. Look, that is clearly a ponytail! Look, everybody! Well? It literally just moved when I made her turn, too. 
Lucky you, it's spring as we speak. Ow, stop punching me. No, wait, good, she's moving around. See? I'm telling you, I was right. It absolutely is a ponytail. I'm not gonna lie, that does give Carmen more points in my book. Do you think maybe people just draw her wrong because they don't see the ponytail? Because, like, if you can't see it on her portrait, uh, you sure as heck probably couldn't see it in her, like, DS model. No, it's not like a braid. It's just like a low-hanging, like, ponytail. Well, lucky you, it's spring as we speak. Hang on. It's definitely one. Like, you can see it move around when she does that. Okay. I'm glad we've, uh, finished this war. Okay, and she's moved up from D tier to C tier. Get it? C? Cause fish? Laugh at my jokes. It's what I pay you for. Welcome back. Let me give this bad boy a look. Ooh, yep, it qualifies. Nicely done. <laughs> Not too shabby. You've definitely got talent. Good job today. As your master, let me give you a special reward for your efforts. Thanks. You keep polishing those fishing skills, okay? Good. Dismissed. Yes, um. Yes, um. Oh, hang on. Yeah? You check your mailbox regularly, right? My mailbox? Uh, yeah, your mailbox. You know, the box in next to your door for mail? That mailbox. Listen to your sassy lady. Get to know the people around town. They'll send you letters. Huh, really? Yep, so check that mailbox regularly, okay? It might even be a letter asking for your help. You don't want to leave a buddy hanging, do you? Good point. I'll be sure to check it. Excellent. And dismissed. For real this time. Request complete. She gave me another fish. Okay. Oh, righty here. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the comments will just be telling me to turn on swimsuit mode, won't they? We'll save it for next time. I'm a streamer. Gotta play my cards right. Gotta get that engagement. Hang on. Uh, I guess I can just sell the fish right quick. I haven't done anything with this seed yet. Hang on, I really should stop putting this off. Can I, like, check a description? Grows a sword-shaped plant that'll help you. Recovers in one day after wilting. Okay. So I want to plant this? She didn't do a very good job describing it, I feel. Let's do this. Make a save. The second episode thumbnail is going to go crazy. Hey, I don't know if I can do that. There we go. Ugh. Excellent. All right, let me try planting this. Uh, for the record, I suppose I may as well ask about this. Oh. Oh. That's how it works. I thought I had to physically l spend a few days letting it grow. It just does that? Okay, let's go b fight things. I suppose I might as well uh, ask something before I turn on swimsuit mode next time. <sighs> do any of them do, like, the school swimsuit crap? I hope not. I'm a little annoyed because I know that in Rune Factory Frontier, um, the witch girl I married from the first game returns, and they did that for her. And that kind of pissed me off. I don't like that. <laughs> Hmm. You did say it grows instantly. I guess, but I thought there must have been some kind of downside to this. I suppose there's no reason not to use it. Wow, it oh, does a crap ton. Okay, maybe I will turn it on, uh, to hard next time. Let me see. I guess they really do expect it to be used. I have the ability to sell it, too. Okay, yeah, this is definitely going to increase the combat pretty well. The mushrooms, nice. Nice. People will probably be yelling at me to have been using the sword. Wait, I can pick it up? <laughs> I can pick it up. Okay. I probably should have used it sooner, but I spent most of my time doing stuff on the, uh... Doing stuff in town. 
Wait, what? Oh, it's telling me there's treasure here. Oh! Okay, it tells me about hidden stuff. That's cool. Oh, I went up to almost 10,000 gold. I need to look into buying stuff from the blacksmith for, um, armor. I keep putting that off. Oh, come on, it's right there. Let me do that here. Hit that. Hey. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, that was the sword thing again. Take the flower. No, I can't pick this up. You found one side shot of Carmen in the opening of the trailer. Does she have a ponytail in it? How deep does this rabbit hole go? We need to know. Like, do you think it's likely that, that people could have just, um... She has the ponytail in that shot. Okay, there we go. I mean, I feel like I already solved this mystery by, um... Looking at her model, but that's just me. I feel like if that whoever brought up the manga example, maybe the person just drew them off model because they don't look like they have a ponytail in that art. That's just my guess. Here we go. Let's go. Um, let's get more apples. I'm getting a good amount of money just by foraging stuff. Oh, bug shell. The thing that looks like a butt, though. My room points aren't massively depleting right away, too. Hang on, what's my... I'm almost level 6. No school swimsuit? Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. I can turn it on and it won't be that creepy next time, then. Yeah, in the Wii game for Rune Factory Frontier, it reuses the cast of Rune Factory 1, but I know that apparently, like, everyone has a swimsuit model when you go to the, uh, to the beach festival or something. And they did my girl Melody Dirty with that. What's this? A baked apple? I'll take it. Okay, let's not go over there. Okay... Hmm. What about Rune Factory Oceans? I know that's like the PS3 one that's also on Wii, right? Oh, hang on. Does it look a little choppy now? I think the, the familiar lags the game a little bit. Okay. Alrighty then. Took care of that stuff. There's that stone that's in the way that I never moved again. Hang on. Can I put you away? So it just does it just become a seed again? Um small crystal. Where do you go? Where did it go? When I put it away, does it just not come back until tomorrow now? Okay, sword, sword, water, earth. No party members. Hang on, is the seed gray now? I didn't see it. Oh, you're right, there it is. I missed it. Give me one more day, it says. Okay, honestly, that's not a terrible mechanic. I kind of like that. Hmm. This is a Switch game. I'm pretty sure Special only came out for Switch, right? Can't get this on, like, PlayStation or anything, I don't think. Oh! I didn't realize my health was about to deplete. My bad. I was looking at chat. Oh, that was foolish of me. Oh, it's on PC and Steam as well. Okay, I didn't realize that. Are you alright? I know you're young and all, but make sure you know your limits. Oh my god. I was just mashing the B button, like, looking at chat. I didn't even realize my health was going down. Seems like you need time to get the hang of things. I charge you 75, but it's on the house this time. Good evening. Well, I appreciate it. That was my goof. Oh! It didn't skip me to the next day. Okay, that's nice. Oh, it's my goof. I'll just have to eat that loss. I didn't lose any money, at least, but it's okay. Let me put the hammer away. 
Uh, I have to equip something. It's a little silly. Whatever. Yeah, I didn't realize it was on Steam. Yeah, well, that's good. Are Rune Factory 4 and 5 on stream? I'm gonna have a snack. I'll get rid of the... Oh, I, I broke the rock at least. Tides of Destiny is the Wii PS3 one. It's a bit of an outlier in the series. Okay. Talked about it before, but I don't remember much. I'm gonna sell the nine apples. Get more easily. I should try giving more gifts tomorrow, maybe. Let's do, like, one more day. Because, yeah, getting the recording over four hours would be a nice, chunky first episode, I feel. And then we'll switch to playing Resident Evil. I know I'm going long today, but I had to go short the previous two streams because of my schedule anyway. And I'm taking tomorrow off, so don't yell at me, mods. <laughs> I already have dinner made ahead. I've just got to heat it up when I'm done. Let me get a drink. Excellent. I know that sometimes Steam versions can be a little iffy, yeah. Mostly it's AAA games that have that issue, right? Bring me, get something for me. Shino, part-time help. Position available until 11 a.m. Latecomers may arrive before 11 a.m. the following day. Assistance needed with a simple errand. Let's do this. I don't want to help Lazy Girl, because she's stupid. You know what? That was mean. Actually, you know, compared to how her mother talks about her, that was nothing. Excellent. My mom wouldn't talk to, talk about me like that. My mom's proud of me. Good morning. Lovely weather today, isn't it? Good morning. And good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, I'd like to chat. Hey there. I saw there's a part-time job available. Oh, good. You saw my posting. Would you be so kind as to run along to Blaze and pick up some food for the inn? You want me to go to Blaze? I can handle making the occasional nibble, but we usually turn to Blaze for our entrees here. <laughs> some of our guests come specifically for the chance to sample his fare. Oh, Blaze isn't a master chef for nothing, I guess. Yes. Agreed. Now on to the job at hand. We'll be serving this for lunch today, so please have it to me no later than 12 p.m. Gotcha. Oh, please make sure it's a warm eastern dish that doesn't have shellfish in it. Okay, chat. You hear that? Warm eastern dish with no shellfish. Let's go get it. Let me see here. Hold that thought. Let me talk to these guys first. Perfect weather today. Good morning. Welcome. Uh. Hello, Mika. What can I help you with? Shino wants to know if you can prepare something for the inn. Ah, so you're helping the innkeeper. I'd be happy to lend a hand. What's the order? Um, an eastern dish. A uh, warm one. With no shellfish. Okay, that was it, right? Yeah, that was that. Understood. I'll just need a moment. Just a moment, he says. Cook a whole dish. Pass this along to, along to the good innkeeper, if you please. Sure thing. Thanks. Okay. Maybe I can do another long session of this on the weekend. Yeah, that'd be fun. We are kind of between games because I finished Let's Go. Oh, I can squeeze some more of this. Um. Thank you for bringing the food. You've been a big help. I'm sure the guests will be thrilled. Huh? Wasn't this something a guest ordered, though? Not quite. It's my job as innkeeper to find out which customer this meal will be a perfect match for. Anyway, thank you for your assistance. Here's your payment for a job well done. 1,000 Gs. I'd love to have you help help us come out again. Quest complete. Hang on, is my seed restored? Yeah, okay. So as long as I put it back in my pocket before bed, it can just rest up and be usable again. That's good. The locations always look nice. Hang on. I'm scared away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, is that a squid? I may as well give this to Pia. I know it's like the thing she freaking loves. Morning. Morning. Morning, Jan. Morning. Good morning. Can you think of a good present for my mom's birthday? Um, yeah, getting off your ass and doing your job, you little lazy piece of crap. A fuzzy memory that'll last forever. Yeah, a fuzzy memory of you doing your job. Yeah. Great, counting on you. Today, after all. Huh? Wait, I'm getting it? Um, what does her mom like? Could I give her a birthday present with anything I have? Food? Yeah. Oh, she just huh? says the same thing. Okay. Check the list here. Maybe I can give a random fish to Carmen. I assume she likes fish, because, you know, she's the fisher girl. And Pia likes fish because she's a fish girl. Come on. Okay. Fished up a cherry salmon. Okay. Oh, there she is. She's fishing by this pond. Hang on. Let me just... I already got the menu open. Let me do this. X scrolls. Okay, no shortcut. Ooh, cherry salmon. Now this I like. Thanks, but, you know, as much as I like this, there's something I like even better. Yeah, this is how you respond to people who give you gifts. And that is Seafood Doria. Mmm, I love... I, I love, love that stuff. Almost as much as I love my brother. <laughs> yeah, I went there? What? Girl! You, what, are you, what are you going on about? Huh? That's some weird dialogue. The fact that she says, yeah, I went there at the end. That, uh... That's a little, uh... It's all yikes. <laughs> Shock bears indeed. So now you know. I hope you took notes. You know, just keep it in mind for next time. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll keep all that in mind. <laughs> I beg your pardon, ma'am. He's running for it. Morning. Oh dear. Morning. Hey, thanks for helping me out, lady. I made a silly goof. I just realized those little gray things on the side are your hair. It's like weird little ponytails sticking out. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hmm. Oh, when you get to be my age, sleepiness comes at the most inopportune of times. Quite the inverse of my lovely granddaughter, hmm? Isn't she just a bundle of delight? <laughs> you say so. Oh, oh, are we sure Carmen's dateable? Hang on, I have to double check. Yep, you can date her. Okay. Can. <laughs> oh dear. A terrible morning. My, what intemperate weather we're having. I'm so, I'm so sated right now. Perhaps I'll go see Chef and have him make some more scrumptiously revolting food for moi to abstain from. That's the best solution. Maybe I gotta get permission from her, from her brother. Uh, for all the negatives in that sentence, you're clearly heading straight for the restaurant. Okay. Okay. This definitely is a good game. It takes slow, for sure. I appreciate the tutorial stop being, like, overwhelming once you get out of the first bit. Like, there's some things you need to experiment with yourself a little bit to find out how it works. Is she? Oh, there she is. God, she keeps blending in. Hello. Ah, not a cloud in the sky. Hello. Hello. Ooh, Mika. Yeah? Can I dye the Sharon's tree this color? Huh? huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck color even is that? Rainbow. I like to call it Daria Radiant Rainbow. I've never heard of that color before. Well, of course not. I just invented it. <sighs> Maybe it's just me, but I can't see it taken off, like, ever. And no painting the, the Sharon's tree. No go? Bummer. 
She has a rainbow pose. Chat loves rainbow Daria. Um, hang on a second. Who was it that said they like green vegetables? It was a uh, blue witch girl. Good day. Hello. Hello. Well, what do you think of our town? It's nice, quiet, and peaceful. I like it. Personally, I think we've had a few rambunctious scallywags running about the place. Um, that's one way to talk about the ladies. Okay, we're not gonna talk any more about it, I guess. No cabbage here. I'm just running back and forth, mashing A. No hidden stuff. Darn, I was hoping for a free cabbage here. Maybe down here? Nah. Hang on. Um, miso eggplant. Maybe I could just give her that. I don't know. This is their birthday. I may as well give them something. Oops. Oh, I can attack the save point? Why? Why can you attack the save point? That's silly. Can I attack the bulletin board? Nope. There's Carmen again. Hmm. Maybe anything can honestly do. Oh, this sells for a lot, but eh, why not? Pretty sure I stole it from you anyway. This for me? Oh, hey, did you get this for me? This is a nice birthday present, Nika. Thanks. I love me some vegetables, too, just so you know. <laughs> Fresh veggies always make the best ingredients, but it's bad business to use them for cooking instead of selling. I healed her up a little bit, too. Okay. Can already, I can already kind of tell I'm going to have a lot more fun with this one than the first two. The first one I can get through pretty easily because nostalgia and stuff, but it is a little bit lacking, for sure. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh well. I have to get used to it. Come on. They're all poking the same thing. I got more squid. Um, I could give this to Pia. check the map more. Oh, she's the only one out and about. Perfect. Oh, because it's raining, Mermaid Girl. La-di-da-da. -da. Hello. Wow. Whoa, what is it? I was just thinking about how I want to take a bath using Charm Blues. But now I think I want to use Toy Herb instead. You know, uh, if I turn on swimsuit mode, what the hell else can she even wear? She's barely wearing anything as it is. And that's a problem. Why? Who knows? Uh, hold the squid. Oh, I love this. Isn't it great how you can just eat fruit and squid raw? I guess she also likes fruits then? What an interesting statue. Someone's been leaving offerings here. Wonder if it was Shino. Okay. Welcome. Welcome from the chat. Today is Hazel's birthday. When I asked her if she wanted anything, she told me to treat her to a cake in secret. I appreciate how they're acknowledging the different characters' birthdays with, like, unique dialogue. Like, usually birthdays are just something that, like, you know, you're expected to remember for a slight friendship boost. I appreciate, with the, I appreciate them, like, organizing it like this. It makes the town and characters feel more alive together, if that makes sense. Are you sure you should be telling me that, then? Hang on. Who likes me the most right now? Uh, Pia's got two hearts. Carmen's got two hearts. And... yep. Everyone's pretty much at base one because I talked to them during a festival. Festival is, like... Actually, quick question. Do hearts still cap out at ten? Because it's piss easy to get everyone to ten hearts or friendship in, uh, one and two. Like, super, super easy, without even trying. Um, or do I have to do, like, more events with people? Like, the bulletin board kind of introduced that, which I like, but it didn't explore it that much. It got old pretty quickly. 
But hopefully they do a lot more with the bulletin board stuff this time around, for sure. Oh, my hand's a bit itchy. Oopsie. Welcome. Hello. So, right, I don't know much about you, but you seem to have an evil dark side. We got cash, we got the stash. Uh, I'm here to shop, what do you sell? Wait, what? Girls just selling garbage rocks? Why the hell would I do that? I'll be sure to stock more good stuff for you. Okay. Anything else I can help with? Uh, here to chat? Welcome. Here to buy something? Uh, I haven't really decided yet. We can go ahead and take a gander at what we got. Looking's free, at least. That's good to know. As far as I'm concerned, looking leads to buying, so go wild. Glance, glaze, and glare at everything on the shelves to your heart's content. Getting a little pushy there. So much for the low-pressure sales pitch. I did really like the shop girl, or the traveling merchant girl in um, Rune Factory 2. Now, if you've never played 2, which I don't recommend anyway, um, something really cute that they ha they have is um, once you're halfway through romancing the, the traveling merchant girl, she gives you an item that lets you um, get any item for free from her shop. And to marry her, what you do is you wait until you max out her hearts and you propose to her by giving her the shop uh, the coupon and tell her and saying that you want her. And I thought that was just the most adorable crap ever. There we go. And then that game stops being good after you get married anyway. That shopkeeper girl was much more nice than uh, what's-her-face with the red eyes. That is adorable. Yes, it is. Some redeeming things about that game. I say, talk about it like it's the worst thing ever, but it really just does get tedious as it goes on. That's all, really. I do have turnips. Could sell them or give them as a gift. I wonder if um, Blue Witch Girl would like the pink turnip. I could try. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Okay, everyone's coming out. Clouds, as far as the eye can see today. The perfect day to sample this potion, I might add. Hello. Hello. What brings you in? What's the problem? Are you feeling unwell, perhaps? Some colored grasses only grow in specific seasons. But the apothecary always has a full selection available. No matter what time of year, if you need any, come see us. Oh no! She's got- she's holding it up. I'll be waiting to see you with a grin and a syringe. Just a grin would be fine. Okay. Um... Try giving her this. A present for me? Thanks, I'll be sure to use it. Ah, oh, it's a generic one, okay. Yeah, it needs to be green. Not enough that the stock on it's green. But I had the extra thing there, so I wanted to give. Hmm. I should finally go ahead and check the blacksmith for armor. Oh my hey, you're back again. Was the rest of you? Okay, right. Huh? Huh? What is it? I was just thinking how I wanted to take a bath, charm blues, blah blah blah. I already got your dialogue for the day. What about you? Hello. Hello. Stay away from- <laughs> Okay! I feel like she's gotten even colder since I last talked to her. It, it, before, it was don't talk to me. Now it's stay away from me. What? Yes? Um. <laughs> excuse me? Uh, well, I tried. Hey. Hey. Hello. Yeah. You break those little vortex things that monsters pop out of. Sometimes you get crystals for it. I want to say that some crystals are more likely to come out of vortexes that are a certain color. Hang on. Because I work, uh, because she works for the blacksmith, would she, would Raven like the earth crystal I got? I could try that. I'm going to take a chance and do it. She might hate me for it, but hey, who doesn't anymore? Oh, I, I don't mind this. I got half a praise out of that. It worked. Thanks. Look at that. I did it. What's this? These are kind of a mess. I was getting to those. What? Yes. Here to shop. Yeah, let's finally check this now that I have a bunch of money. Okay. 
Why the hell would this be good armor? Warm woolen hat comes with the comfort that only a handmade item can. Cost 980, though. Defense, uh, two, five de both defenses, okay. Magic defense 16. Attack 15. Shut up, Raven, I'm, I'm shopping here. Defense 14. Okay, seems like the boots would be a better investment. Hmm. Cheap bracelet. I like buffing my attack more, to be honest. And I guess I'll buy the hat since it's the only thing here. A lot, but okay. Oh wait, I can only buy one at a time? I thought I was buying all of them. Whatever. Thanks. Thanks. Which one? Okay, let's try putting this stuff on. Um... Oh. I have to be in that order, silly. Okay. Now for head. Oh crap, where'd it go? It's at the top. And... We'll wear some boots. Okay, perfect. Put this on. La di da. Hey, it's you again. Hmm, the weather's taking a turn for the better. Hello. I owe you an apology for the other day. Hmm. When I told you to go away because I was bored, I'm sorry. I was in a prickly mood at the time. Oh right, that. It's okay. I don't mind. I see. That's good to hear. I hope you don't come talk to me again then. Huh? Do you think, like, they're aware they're saying things backward? Backwards? Because they talk like they're unaware of it. Okay, I can slaughter things super fast now. Okay, I got another Earth Crystal. I can give that to Raven next time. I guess the element depends on the color. I don't really need to use the Sword Seed right now. Let's get some. see if I can get another level. I feel like the first few levels I got are going a long way. Okay. And it looks like, yeah, we did pass the four-hour mark. I'm gonna take a break soon and switch games. I wanted to I wanted to play Resident Evil after this. It's gonna be a long one, but that'll be fun. Okay. Usually I do long streams on on Wednesday, but um hang on. I had to start super late yesterday. I learned the short sword charge attack. Just need to hold down B. Okay. Ooh, that charged really fast. The charge is like garbage in the other ones. Yeah, they really like stepped up their game with this one, really. I think this will be a lot of fun to get into. Um, let's see now. Given it's still the third game and I'm sure four and five may have improved things. What am I doing? This is the wrong thing. One thing I'm not looking forward to is I've heard bad things about 4's random events. How they can just take forever to happen. Okay. I love how things stack when they're near each other like that. Watch my rune points. Ooh, nice crystal. Okay. Oh, boy. Hmm. Why am I killing apples? No, I'm not just killing apples. I'm also killing the woolies. Look at it. Clearly, it was coming right at me. It was a threat to the town. Oh, hey. Another rare drop. I can sell this. Nice. There's the level up. Can I see my max rune points? Um, 181. I should. I wish I checked how much it could go up by per level there. Okay, I'm sending them back home. That's right. I'm doing a good job. Just sending them back home with that super sword combo right there. Self-defense. That's right. That's right. Okay. But no, I, I like these characters so far. I want to see more events with them. Um, quick question. You can still do friendship events in uh, 4 and 5. 
with uh, members of the same sex, right? There we go. Five is the one that added, like, the, the ability to be bi for everyone, though, right? Hang on. I don't think four had that. There we go. Apple's dead. I think I can kill one more round of them. Get him. What's my level at? It's gonna take a while to hit the next one off these things, but... The amount of damage I do now is absurd. That glove really helped. Excellent. Things like the Mineral Town remake also added that option. There's even an achievement for doing every, like, romance event with everyone on the same save file. Come here, you. Heck yeah. Excellent. I think it wasn't initially in five. Oh, I'm almost dead. I gotta watch my rune points. Hang on, I can get a bath if I run back fast enough. Getting baths will probably, like, add affection and friendship. Hey, what's up? Welcome. Yes. 300 is fine. Let's go. Yeah, I think when 5 initially came out, it didn't have that option. There we go. They added it later on. It was something... I think the executive producer wanted to add it, but they didn't give him time. Let me see here. Ah, there's nothing like a hot bath. Was it the producer or is it the director? I don't remember. Let me see here. You can date everyone at once in Rune Factory 4 and 5. Now see, at, you shouldn't do that in real life, but in the context of doing a stream, I'm just showing all the content, right? I'm just showing all the content, don't worry. So I can do that, and it's very ethical. But you shouldn't do that in real life. Unless you all agree to it beforehand. There we go. Cover my base is there by saying that. Get that. Oh, hey, more seeds. How many of those have I picked up? I may as well plant them since I refreshed everything. I should sell these random shears. That's what I should do. I would only need one, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oops. Okay, it's equipped. Okay, and the tile is watered for now. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. I don't need more lumber yet. The grass has been a good way to get money. Oopsie. And the crops are growing really fast. Um, I got it. Yeah, eight days in. That's not bad at all. Okay. The thing is, all farm games do have, like, pretty good starts to them. I think what really separates the good ones from the bad ones, though, is, like, how good, like, the end game goes. Because, like, it's very easy to get bored of these if they, like, when you notice they're just run out of content, you know what I mean? Hang on. Stardew Valley has a lot of stuff. But I feel like it needs more things to break it up. And that's why I'm excited to try out, like, the, uh, expanded mod people have been recommending. Okay. And just so I'll have money next time I stream this, let's go ahead and ditch these grasses. So next time, Karina will be able to give me a lot. Do this. You can date everyone in Stardew Valley, but it gets to a point where there's a cutscene where all, like, the guys or the girls are just like, hey, uh, we've been talking, and we just want to ask you, uh, what the hell, man? Why, why, why are you doing that? <laughs> why are you doing that? And then it, like, punishes you for everyone. Or punishes you towards everyone's affection, doesn't it? Excellent. Okay. I'm tired. Let's make a save right here. Hang on. If you're carrying a rabbit's paw, then the group scene turns out okay instead of everyone hating you. Really? I think I vaguely remember hearing something about that. That's funny, though. You need to have a lucky rabbit's foot, yeah. 
Say it again, because why not? Okay, that's cool. So let's see here. Over four hours for our first episode for Rune Factory 3. So far, I'm having a good time. I kind of just, like, I forgot this was coming out. And I played this on a whim. But this was a lot of fun. I definitely would like to do some more. Once again, I, you know, thank you all who have been watching the farm games and, to and have told me you wanted to see more. Uh, I haven't done any of these for a while, and I'd hopefully like to do some more of it. But... This is a lot of fun so far. I like the cast. Um, I want to get to know them a bit more. I'm hoping this game has a lot more events to do. Maybe the bulletin board will kind of push you towards that. It does seem like the dialogue is a bit more natural, too. Like, I, again, with the birthday stuff, I appreciated how, like, they added that to the daily conversation instead of characters being locked to, like, one or two things, right? Oh, boy. Anyways... Let's take a quick break here. We're going to switch games on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you had fun. Have a good night. Bye-bye.